beautiful day. Thank you for your hand in our lives. Thank you for the sun after the storm. Thank you for um, not too many people dying there, Lord, just losing things. But if we hold on to you, we, we know that we have uh, safety and sureness. Thank you for everything you're doing in, in our midst today. May we be a light to all around us. But most of all, let me get out of your way, Yeshua, that you would uh, minister to your people, those that are seeking your will and your ways and your understandings, that they may come to know you even more and draw closer to you. In your name, Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Let's go get a blessing. Turn to uh, the book of Jonah. Jonah. The book of Jonah, please. Vámonos al libro de Jonas. The book of Jonah. Libro de Jonas. Okay, we're, uh, this is message number 405. Este es el mensaje 405. It is called the younger son. El hijo más joven. All right, we're going to learn about being the younger child today. Vamos a aprender acerca de ser el hijo más joven. What importance that is. Qué importancia tiene. And how the younger child should know better. Y cómo el hijo más pequeño debe yeah. saber mejor. I am the youngest in my family. Yo soy el más joven de mi familia. And being the youngest child. Y ser el, el niño más joven. You got less, less uh, grace. Tienes <laughs> ma, menos gracia. Because your mother and father would say, you should have seen what your sisters did. Porque tu madre y padre te dirían, tú debes ver lo que tus hermanas hicieron. And learned better. Y aprender. But sometimes Pero hay veces you get parents que tú tienes padres who do let the youngest child que dejan que los hijos más jóvenes get away with lots of things. Hagan muchas cosas. Okay, so we're going to learn about that today. Vamos a aprender acerca de esto hoy. This message has six sections. Este mensaje tiene seis secciones. Part number one Parte uno is called the call of the true followers. Se titula el llamado de los verdaderos seguidores. The call of the true followers. El llamado de los verdaderos seguidores. Part number two of the message. Parte número dos de los mensajes. Is called if my people will listen closely. Si mi gente escuchara más de cerca. If my people will listen closely. Si mi gente escuchara de cerca. Part Number three of this message Parte tres del mensaje is Jehovah takes pleasure in. Se titula Jehovah toma placer en. Jehovah takes pleasure in. O Jehovah se complace en. Part number four of this message Parte número cuatro is the younger son. El hijo joven. The younger son. El hijo más joven. Part number five Parte número cinco is what happens next. ¿Qué pasará después? What happens next? ¿Qué pasará después? And finally, part six of this message. Parte número seis del mensaje. Don't be consumed by lies. No seas consumido por mentiras. Don't be consumed by lies. No ser cons consumido por mentiras. Okay, so let's go to part number one. Vamos a la parte uno. The call of the true followers. El llamado de los verdaderos seguidores. We're going to read Jonah, Jonah chapter 3. Vamos a leer Jonás capítulo 3. Verse 1 through 10. Del 1 al 10. Jonah chapter 3, verse 1 through 10. Jonás 3, del 1 al 10. And I'll be reading for those that are new out of the complete Jewish Bible. Le leeré de la Biblia completa judía. It says, the word of God and I came to Jonah a second time. Set out for the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I will give you. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh. As Adonai had said, now Nineveh was such a large city that it took three days just to cross it. Jonah began his entry into the city and had finished only his first day of proclaiming, in 40 days Nineveh will be overthrown. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed the fast and put on sackcloth, from the greatest of them to the least. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he got up from his throne, took off his robe and put on sackcloth and sat in ashes. He then had this proclamation made throughout Nineveh. By decree of the king and his nobles, no person or animal 
herd or flock is to put anything in his mouth there to neither eat nor drink water. They must be covered with sackcloth, both people and animals, and they are to cry out to God with all their might. Let each of them turn from his evil way and from the violence they practice. Who knows? Maybe God will change his mind and relent and turn from his fierce anger, and then we won't perish. When God saw by their deeds that they had turned from their evil way, he relented and did not bring on them the punishment he had threatened. Amen? Amen. Let's focus now first on verse 5. Nos enfocaremos en el verso 5. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them to the least. Amen? Amen. Now, in this account of Jonah, en esta cita de Jonah, remember Jonah did not want to go do this job. Recuerda que Jonas no quería ir a hacer este trabajo. He's like, let them suffer, the Lord. Él decía, déjale sufrir, Señor. I don't want to go talk to those people. Yo no quiero hablar con esa gente. You know why? I'm going to go run away from you, Jehovah. Voy a, voy a esconderme de ti, Jehovah. I'm going to go on a ship. Me voy en un barco. I'm going to get thrown overboard. Me van a tirar fuera de la borda. And then he, remember, Jonah was in the belly of the big sea monster. Y recuerda que Jonas estuvo en el estómago de ese monstruo marino. For three days, right? Por tres días. Could you imagine that smell? Puedes imaginarte ese olor. Oh, man, that must have stank badly. Debe haber olido bien mal. Anybody been around any fish that's ever sat around outside for a few days? Han estado en, eh, al lado de un pescado que está por so mucho tiempo. Imagine atrás. being inside there. Imagínate estar dentro de. Not ahí. having any nose clips. No teniendo ni siquiera algo para aplastarte la nariz. But after that, after the, the fish vomited Jonah up. Pero después de que el uh, pescado vomitó a Jonas. He, He went and did as Jehovah had asked him. Él fue y hizo lo que, uh, le pidió. Look at Jonah chapter 3 verse 5 again, please. Veamos el verso cinco de Jonas. Tres. Tres, uh, capítulo 3 versículo 5. Uh, okay. Capítulo 3 versículo 5. Okay. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them to the least. Amen. Throughout history. Por medio de la historia. Because God loves us so much. Porque Dios nos ama tanto. He always sends one of his people. Él siempre envía una de su gente. To preach a warning. Para, des, para dar el mensaje de una advertencia. Because he wants to show grace and mercy. Porque él quiere mostrar gracia y misericordia. So Jehovah sent Jonah. Jehovah envió a Jonah. And he said, Jonah said, come, you got, God's going to overthrow you people. Jonas dijo, Dios les va a destruir. Now, what was this city of Nineveh or Nineveh? ¿Cuál fue la ciudad de Nineveh? Now, was it near Israel? Esta ciudad estaba cerca de Israel. Now, this city was the capital of the Assyrian Empire. Esta ciudad era la capital del Empire. Del imperio Asirio. And it is one of the most ancient cities of the world. Y es una de las ciudades más antiguas del mundo. It is east of the Tigris River. Está en el lado oeste del río Tigris. Opposite modern day Mosul. A, o en el lado opuesto del día de Mosul en estos días modernos. 400 miles north of Babylon. 400 millas al norte de Babilonia. So here... God sends one of his own people. Dios manda uno de su misma gente. A Hebrew, a prophet. Un profeta hebreo. He sends him to the Goyim. Lo envió a los Goyim. Nineveh, or Nineveh, was a Gentile city. Nineveh era una ciudad de gentiles. Not many people realize that. No mucha gente se da cuenta de eso. That God sent one of his Hebrew people que Dios mandó una de sus gentes hebreas to preach a message of repentance para decir un mensaje de arrepentimiento to a group of Gentiles a un grupo de gentiles because God has always cared for everybody. Porque Dios siempre ha cuidado de todos. He has always wanted to show mercy and grace to everybody. Él siempre quiere mostrar gracia y misericordia con todos. But there is a point. Pero hay un punto. 
where he's going to have to give us a spanking. Donde él va a tener que darnos un golpe. And everybody knows God. Y todos conocemos a Dios. Okay? Everybody knows God. Todos conocemos de Dios. Whether or not you choose to follow God, that is up to each person. Escojas o no seguir a Dios, ya eso depende de cada persona. And how do I prove that statement? Y cómo yo pruebo este, este estatuto. How did Noah know to get seven clean animals? ¿Cómo sabía Noé de obtener siete animales limpios? The Torah was not written just yet, La was Torah it? No estaba escrita aún. But he knew what was clean and unclean to God. Pero él sabía que era limpio y no limpio para Dios. So the people of Nineveh had fallen away from the king's ways. La gente de Ninive había caído, se había alejado de los caminos del Señor. And God had heard about it. Y Dios escuchó de esto. And he sent his prophet to go and tell the people to turn. Y él mandó a su profeta para decirle a la gente que se arrepienta. And this city was so big, y esa ciudad era tan grande it took three days to cross it. que le tomó tres días el cruzarla. Many Gentile people. Mucha gente gentil. So here's a Jew, Vemos aquí un judío. Probably looking a little similar to me, probablemente como se ve, se ve algo como yo. Having a beard, teniendo una barba. Wearing a mantle, a talit. Uh, puesto un talit, not wanting to do his job no queriendo hacer su trabajo, saying hey turn back to God or he's going to overthrow you diciéndoles a todos arrepiéntanse porque Dios los destruirá no, walking down the city with the sign on the front of his back repent repent <laughs> caminando con un uh, con un uh, póster en el frente que repentate, dice repentate 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 <laughs> arrepiéntete For three days, he's going through the city. Por tres días estaba caminando en la ciudad. But the key to this understanding la clave de este entendimiento is God sent a Jew, a Hebrew, es que Dios mandó a un Hebreo to a place that had fallen into sin a un lugar que había caído en el pecado to tell them, Come back, please, before para, chastisement happens. para decirles, regresen antes del castigo comience. To bring the truth To the Gentiles. Para traer la verdad a los gentiles. See, Paul wasn't the first guy to start doing it. Pablo no era el primer muchacho que hizo esto. Here, Jonah, he's Hebrew, he's Jewish. Jonas es judío. He was sent to 400 miles north of Babylon. Él fue enviado 400 millas al norte de Babilonia. That's like 2,000 miles away from Jerusalem. Es como dos mil millas lejos de Jerusalén. Okay, he sent one of his own people to tell them. Y mandó una de sus, de, una de sus propia gente a decir. Now look at verse 5 again. Veamos el verso 5. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed the fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them to the least. Amen? Amen. It, they didn't need the leadership. Ellos no necesitaban el liderazgo. The people believed. La gente creyó. You know, we could agree with our government of the United States. Podríamos estar de acuerdo con nuestro gobierno de Estados Unidos. We could disagree with the government of the United States. That doesn't matter. Podríamos no estar de acuerdo con el gobierno, pero eso no importa. When a Hebrew Cuando un hebreo is calling us to repentance, está llamándonos al arrepentimiento, the people of Nineveh heard and they turned. La gente de Nineveh escuchó y se arrepintieron. They heard the truth. Ellos escucharon la And verdad. each person put on sackcloth. Y cada persona se puso ropa de silicio. And this pleased God. Y esto complació al Señor. They believed in God, the God of promises. Ellos creyeron en el Dios de las promesas. How about us today? ¿Qué tal nosotros hoy? Do we believe in the God of promises? Creemos en el Dios de la promesa. Amen. 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 Come on, let's say in the Catholic Church, you guys could say amen. Pueden decir amén, no estamos okay. en la iglesia. Do you católica. believe in the God of promises? Creen en el Dios de las promesas. Amén. We could change things, people. If you get anything from this message today. Podemos cambiar las cosas si obtienen algo de este mensaje hoy. Know that we could change what's going on. Tienes que saber que podemos cambiar lo que está pasando. This Hebrew person told the Goyim that they had to change. Esta persona hebrea les decía a la gente que tenían que cambiar. From the richest person to the poorest person. Desde la gente más rica hasta la gente más pobre. They believed the prophet. Ellos creyeron en el profeta. They believed Jonah and they turned. Ellos creyeron en Jonás y se arrepintieron. Look at verse 9 and 10. Veamos verso 9 y 10. Who knows? 
Maybe God will change his mind and mind, relent and turn from his fierce anger, and then we won't perish. Then God saw by their deeds that they had turned from their evil way. He relented and did not bring on them the punishment he had threatened. Amen? Amen. God saw Dios vio. that people put out the things that were not of him que la gente puso a un lado las cosas que no le pertenecían a él. That the people changed. Que la gente cambió. And God relented. Y Dios se arrepintió. How many people would like to see that for our country today? ¿Cuántos quisieran ver esto para Amen? nuestro país? How many people would like to see that for the world today? ¿Cuántos quisieran ver esto para el mundo hoy? You know, what's going on in the Middle East? Lo que está pasando en el Medio Oriente. Wouldn't you like just everything to stop and peace to reign? No te gustaría que todo se detenga y haya la paz. If, pe if people turn back to God here. Si la gente se arrepiente y se regresa and a Dios. The, here, the king heard. El rey también escuchó. And he declares a fast. Y él declara un ayuno. He puts on sackcloth. Se pone ropa de silicio. And he says, maybe God will hear us. Y dice, quizá Dios nos escuche. Just maybe. Quizá. And he will turn from his fierce anger. Y se, y se arrepentirá de su um, ira. How did this Gentile know about the fierce anger of God? Como este gentil sabía del enojo de Dios. How did this pagan city king know of the king of kings? ¿Cómo sabía este rey pagano del rey de reyes? Because everybody knows God. Porque todos conocen a Dios. Whether or not you want to follow, I'm telling you, it's up to you. Sea o no que quieras seguirle, esto depende de ti. But this one knew Pero that God would change his mind. Pero él sabía que Dios cambiaría su manera de pensar. And then God said, you know what, hey. Y Dios dijo, mira. Hey, Michael. Mira, Michael. Look. Mira. Gabriel, come here. Ven, ven aquí, Abraham. Look at what you're doing. Abraham. Mira. You know what? ¿Sabes qué? Take a vacation. Tomen vacaciones. He relented. God relented. Dios se arrepintió. Because of somebody who brought a message of repentance. Porque alguien les llevó un mensaje de arrepentimiento. But what is repentance. Pero ¿qué es arrepentimiento? What is this repentance that God wants to see? ¿Cuál es este arrepentimiento que Dios quiere que ve ver? Sh should we be doing this? ¿Deberíamos estar haciendo esto? Turn to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 28, please. Vámonos al Evangelio de Mateo 28. Matthew 28. Mateo 28. Mateo 28. Mateo 28. Mateo 28. We're going to look at verse 18 through 20. Vamos a ver a los versos 18 al 20. Matthew 28. Mateo 28. Verse 18 through 20. Versos 18 al 20. Matthew 28. Mateo 28. Verse 18 through 20. 18 al 20. Yeshua came and talked with them. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, Go make people from all nations into Talmudim, immersing them into the reality of the Father, the Son, and the Ruach HaKodesh, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I will be with you always. Yes, even until the end of the age. Amen? Amen. Let's focus now on verse 20. Enfoquémonos en el verso 20 and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I will be with you always, yes, even until the end of the age. Amen? Amen. The, as followers of Yeshua, Como seguidores de Yeshua, what is our job? ¿Cuál es nuestro trabajo? Is to go make disciples, Talmudim, from all the Goyim. Es hacer discípulos uh, de de todos los uh, gentiles. Yeshua said, "Go make disciples of all nations." Yeshua dijo, "Ve y haz discípulos de todas las naciones." Teaching them. Enseñándoles. Well, first, let's understand a definition. Primero entendamos una definición. What is the definition of a Talmud or a disciple? ¿Cuál es la definición de un Talmud o un discípulo? The the Greek word here. La palabra griega para esto. Is mathe, mathe, 
Es mathetes. 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 It means learner. Significa aprender. Pupil. Pupil. pupil uh, or disciple. O discípulo. So here, Aquí, the final commandment of Yeshua, el último mandamiento de Yeshua is this. Es este. Go teach people what? Ve y enseña a la gente que everything that I commanded todo lo que he mandado well is not Yeshua God? No es Yeshua Dios. Well we teach that Yeshua is the son of God. He is God. Enseñamos que Yeshua es el hijo de Dios. Él es Dios. Is not he the one that wrote the Ten Commandments? No es él el que escribió los diez mandamientos. So here he said in Matthew 5 él le dijo a Mateo 5 that not one jot or tittle will be lost until everything be complete. Que ninguna jota pasará hasta que todo sea completo. So here he's saying to his students aquí él está diciendo a sus estudiantes go teach them. Ve y enseñales. Teach people to obey the commandments so we keep Father happy. Enseñale a la gente los mandamientos así tendremos al, al Padre feliz. Why do we need to teach them? ¿Por qué tenemos que enseñarles? Because there's only so much the Father in heaven is going to allow. Porque hay solamente um, un límite de lo que el Padre va a permitir. There's only so much he's going to take. Es un límite hasta donde el Padre va a llegar. He wants us going out to all the nations. Él quiere que vayamos a todas las naciones. And earlier on, online on our Skype right there. Y temprano en, en nuestra línea de Skype. We were broadcasting to the country of Colombia. Estu estamos transmitiendo a Colombia. And to Kenya, Africa at the same time. Y a África, a Kenia en África al mismo tiempo. Teaching them to obey Yeshua enseñándoles a obedecer a Yeshua to teach them what Yeshua taught us enseñándoles lo que Yeshua nos enseñó a nosotros because there is a point porque hay un punto as we saw in Nineveh como vimos en Nineveh that God was going to destroy that city que Dios iba a destruir esta ciudad so he sent one of his own people entonces enviamos una él manda una de sus propias gentes so now the great commission la gran comisión is to do the same thing. Es hacer lo mismo. Yeshua says, teach them to obey everything I commanded you. Yeshua les dijo, enséñenles todo lo que yo les mando hacer. Not just parts. No solo partes. Not just the things you like. No solo las cosas que a ti te gustan. Or the things we agree with. Pero las cosas que estamos de acuerdo. Teaching them everything that I commanded you. Enseñándoles todo lo que yo te mando. Did not Yeshua say, I and the Father are one? No dijo Yeshua, yo y el Padre somos uno. So we say, teach the people. Enseñen a la gente. So Jehovah will not destroy us. Así Jehovah no nos destruirá. Now, anything written in Scripture todo lo que está escrito en Escritura that seems to contradict these orders by Yeshua himself que parece contradecir estas, estas uh, uh, mandatos de Yeshua are probably being misunderstood son probablemente mal entendidas by the modern por, por los modernos westernized uh, um, um, pensamiento del oeste Romanized church y la iglesia romanizada if Yeshua says teach them si Yeshua dice enséñales and something seems to contradict the father y muchas veces parece que contradice al padre you're probably misunderstanding something probablemente estás malentendiendo algo because God would never contradict himself right porque Dios no se contradice el mismo would, would God ever say you know what forget about those things <laughs> you don't need them anymore Podría Dios decir, for, olvídate acerca de esto, no necesitamos de esto. God is the same yesterday, Dios es el mismo ayer, today, hoy, and forever, right? Siempre. Okay. So here, God sent a Jew to Nineveh, Dios mandó un judío a Nineveh, and they did repent for a little while, y se arrepintieron por un tiempo, and then they finally were overthrown, y finalmente fueron destruidos. So they are, people are shown grace for a little while. Gente, a la gente se les muestra gracia por un tiempo. Sometime later, the city of Nineveh was destroyed. Después de un tiempo, Nineveh fue destruida. Now Yeshua comes along. 
Ahí Yeshua aparece. And for three and a half years, y por tres años y medio, he walks around with, with these 12 Jewish guys, él camina con estos 12 hombres judíos, teaching them, enseñándoles, showing his students, en, mostrándoles a sus estudiantes, three methods of teaching people, tres métodos de enseñanza, speak, hablada, write, escrita, and give an example. Y con el ejemplo de vida. That's the only methods of teaching. Esos son los únicos métodos de enseñanza. As a teacher, I speak to you. Como maestro, yo te hablo a ti. Sometimes I write things down for everybody, right? Hay veces que escribo cosas para ustedes. And sometimes I give an example, right? Y hay veces que te doy un ejemplo. Well, Yeshua spoke to his students, right? Yeshua habló con sus estudiantes. For three and a half years, he was teaching his disciples. Por tres años y medio, le enseñó a sus discípulos. Did Yeshua ever write anything down? Yeshua escribió algo. He wrote in the dust in the temple, right? Él escribió en el polvo en el templo. So he wrote something down. Él escribió algo. And then finally, y finalmente, Yeshua gives us his own personal example. Yeshua nos da su ejemplo personal. So if you believe he is Messiah, si tú crees que él es el Mesías, and that he is God, y que él es Dios, you can't go wrong by doing what he said, right? No puedes irte mal cuando haces lo que él está diciendo. You can't go wrong by following Yeshua's example, right? No, estás, no, no te va a hacer a ir mal si estás haciendo lo que Dios dice. Could Yeshua get mad at any of his disciples for doing exactly what he did? Puede Yeshua enojarse con sus discípulos si ellos están haciendo exactamente lo que él dijo. If you are a parent, si tú eres un padre and you're a smoker, y fumas right? and then your kid gets to be a teenager, y tu, um, tu hijo es un adolescente and they start smoking, right? y comienzan a fumar and then you as a parent get angry at that child. y tú como padre te enojas a ese niño. You can't get angry at the child. No te puedes enojar con ese niño. They're following your example. Ellos están siguiendo tu ejemplo. Yeshua The Messiah will never get angry at you. Yeshua, el Mesías, no se va a enojar contigo. For following his example. Por seguir su ejemplo. Now we're going to learn something more. Part two. Ahora vamos a aprender algo más. Called if my people will listen closely. Parte dos, si mi gente escuchara más de cerca. Turn to Second Chronicles chapter seven, please. Segunda de Crónicas siete. Second Chronicles chapter seven. Segunda de Crónicas siete. We're going to read verse eleven through fourteen. Vamos a leer los versos 11 al 14. Anybody learn something about Nineveh today? Aprendieron algo de Nineveh hoy. Learned that it was a Gentile city? Era una ciudad de gentiles. How many people realized that it was a Gentile city beforehand? ¿Cuántos sabían que era una ciudad de gentiles? Oh, that's good. So now you learn that it's now a Gentile city. Second Chronicles chapter 7. Segunda de Crónicas capítulo 7. Segunda. Segunda. <laughs> Second Chronicles chapter 7. Segunda de Crónicas 7. We're going to look at verse 11 through 14. Vamos a ver los versos 11 al 14. Everybody got it? Say amen, please. Amen. Thus Shlomo finished the house of Adonai and the royal palace, everything that Shlomo had set his heart on making. In the house of Adonai and in his own palace, he accomplished successfully. Adonai appeared to Shlomo by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. If I shut up the sky so that there is no rain, or if I order locusts to devour the land, or if I send an epidemic of sickness among my people, then if my people who bear my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their evil ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Amen? Let's look at verse 11. Vamos al verso 11. Thus Shlomo finished the house of Adonai and the royal palace, everything that Shlomo had set his heart on making. In the house of Adonai and in his own palace, he accomplished successfully. Amen? Amen. Imagine how happy a person would be. Imagínate como una persona podría estar feliz. If you had your dreams si come true. Si tuvieras tus sueños eh, hechos realidad. How many people would love their dreams to come true? ¿Cuántos les gustaría que sus sueños Everybody se want their dreams to come true. Todos quisieran que sus sueños you know, se realidad. Yo, a nice big house. Una casa grande. Money to heat it. <laughs> Dinero. You know, shalom in your home. Paz en tu casa. Shalom. Imagine getting everything you wanted. Imagínate tener todo lo que deseaste. Would that make you happy? Te haría esto feliz. Imagine the joy that you would feel 
Imagínate el gozo que tú sentirías. Imagine you're there in the first temple is built. Imagínate tú ahí en el primer templo que construyeron. Imagine Solomon just standing back and going. Imagínate a Salomón mirando nada más. Imagine that feel. Imagínate este sentimiento. To just stand there in awe of having all your dreams realized. Imagínate estar parado ahí y mirar todos tus sueños realizados. And then to see the kabod, the glory of God come down and take the offering. Y ver cómo la gloria del Señor baja a tomar la ofrenda. Imagine the joy and happiness that must have been felt. Imagínate la felicidad que se debe haber sentido. Imagine the overwhelming feelings that the people would have. Imagínate ese sentimiento sobrecogedor de la gente. That God, Jehovah, que Dios y Dios Jehovah, in His presence would come and be there. Y su presencia irían a estar allí. How much joy that would be. Cuánto gozo eso sería. But look at verse 14. Pero veamos al verso 14. Then if my people who bear my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face. And turn from their evil, evil ways. I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Amen. Amen. Right after the the temple was built, después de que el templo estuvo construido, God gives us a prophecy. Dios nos da una profecía. A prophecy that would be fulfilled not too distant in the future. Una profecía que sería cumplida en un futuro no lejano. Why would Jehovah say this right after the temple's built? Porque Jehovah dijo después de que el templo estaba construido. It's a prophecy he's telling us. Es una profecía que nos decía. That we will walk away. Pero que, que decía que nos alejaremos. Why do we do this? ¿Por qué hacemos esto? Everything is going great. Todo está yendo bien. The temple's built. El templo está construido. The Glory of God has come down. La gloria de Dios ha bajado. We're singing, we're dancing, we have joy. Estamos cantando y bailando, tenemos gozo. But God prophesies. Pero Dios profetizó. That we will walk away. Que nos alejaremos. He is saying. Él está diciendo. We will allow this glorious new temple. Que permitiremos que este templo glorioso. To become a building sea un edificio instead of a home en vez de una casa let me say that again déjame decirte otra vez we allow that glorious building permitimos que ese glorioso edificio to become just a building que se haga solo un edificio más instead of a place where we go to meet with God en vez de ser un lugar donde vamos a encontrarnos con Dios do you have a place in your home Tienes tú un lugar en tu casa that is set aside, que es separado that you go and meet with God, que vas y te encuentras con Dios that you have a prayer closet, que tienes un closet de oración that you spend time with your God, que tú pasas tiempo con tu Dios and you pray to him morning and night, y le oras a Él en la mañana y en la noche pero Dios está diciendo aquí vamos a turn turn away Dios está diciendo aquí nos alejaremos. We're going to allow this temple to become just a building. Vamos a permitir que este templo se haga solo un edificio. He's saying that our love will grow cold. Está diciendo que nuestro amor se enfriará. He's saying to us. Nos está diciendo a nosotros. That we forgot about our marriage. Que olvidamos acerca de nuestro matrimonio. Now I've been wearing this ring for 25 years. He estado puesto este anillo por 25 años. If you forget about your marriage. Si tú te olvidas de tu matrimonio. And you don't treat it special. Y no lo tratas como especial. It will start to decay. Se comenzará a deshacer. And if we don't treat our marriage to God special si no tratamos nuestro matrimonio con Dios como especial, and keep it sacred y lo mantenemos sagrado, it will begin to decay comenzará a dañarse. God is saying here in, in, in this verse Dios está diciendo aquí en este verso, that our eyes are going to begin to wander que los ojos comenzarán a buscar towards other things otras cosas. Now, how many of you ladies have two or three purses ¿Cuántas de ustedes mujeres tienen muchas carteras? How many purses do you have? 
¿Cuántas carteras tienes? How many pairs of shoes do you ladies have? ¿Cuántos pares de zapatos tienen las damas? But you'll go to the store. Pero tú irás a la tienda. Well, that might go with my blue dress. Quizá ese va bien con mi vestido azul. But you already have two pairs of blue shoes. Pero ya tienes dos pares de zapatos azules. How many men? ¿Cuántos hombres? You know, you're walking down the streets. Estás caminando por la calle. Allowing your eyes to wander. Permitiendo que tus ojos estén uh, mirando a todo lado. Do you do that to the Father in heaven? Haces tú esto con el Padre del cielo. Do you do that to the Father in heaven? Haces esto con el Padre en el cielo. Letting yourself wander away from his ways. Permitiendo que tú te um, te estés um, alejando de sus caminos. Look at verse 14 again, please. Veamos al verso 14. Then if my people who bear my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face and turn from their evil ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. Amen. Amen. He says his people. Él dice su gente. Did not Jonah go and prophesy to Nineveh? No fue Jonás a profetizar en Nínive. Now God is talking to his people. Ahora él está hablando de su gente. Who are his people? ¿Quién es su gente? The Jew Los judíos and the Gentile. Y el gentil. We are all his people. Todos somos su gente. How did the people of Nineveh know to repent? ¿Cómo la gente de Nínive sabía cómo arrepentirse? Because everybody has been made by God. Porque todos hemos sido hechos por Dios. So he says, if you are his people, él dice, si tú eres su gente, you, you need to seek his face. tienes que buscar su rostro. The people of Nineveh la gente saw de, his face. La gente de Ninive vio su rostro. But what does it mean to seek his face? ¿Qué, pero qué significa buscar su rostro? What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? One must realize Uno debe darse cuenta that we are in sin to seek his face que estamos en pecado para y no podremos ver su cara. But what if you don't know what sin is? Pero qué tal si no supieras que es pecado? Then how are you going to turn and seek his face before destruction? ¿Cómo te vas a arrepentir y a buscar su rostro antes de la destrucción? Seeking his face, buscar su rostro, means to be repentive. Significa estar arrepentido. Repentive of what? Arrepentirse de qué? What do I got to be repentant of? ¿De qué me tengo que arrepentir? I keep hearing we're under grace. Yo sigo escuchando, estamos bajo la gracia. We don't need to do those old things anymore. No necesitamos hacer estas cosas viejas ya. Then what do I got to be repentant of? ¿De qué me tengo que arrepentir? What I choose to be repentant of? Podría escoger yo de qué me voy a arrepentir. Okay, I will no longer eat four pieces of pizza at each sitting. Okay, ya no voy a comer cuatro pedazos de pizza. I will no longer use UPS because they don't like marriage. Okay, ya no voy a utilizar nunca más UPS porque no les gusta el matrimonio. Did you hear that this week? Escuchaste esto esta semana. UPS pulled their funding from the Boy Scouts because they stand for heterosexual marriage. UPS quitó los, lo, lo, el dinero que le daba a los Boy Scouts porque ellos mantienen su... Um, um, uh, valores bíblicos. So FedEx for us. <laughs> so what is repentive people? ¿Qué es re arrepentir arrepentirse? What does it mean to seek God's face? ¿Qué significa mirar el rostro de Dios? To understand what repentive means. Para arrepentir para entender qué es arrepentirse. One must understand. Uno debe entender. What is good? ¿Qué es bueno? And what is evil? ¿Y qué es malo? Not to me the rabbi. No, para mí el rabino. I don't count. Yo no cuento aquí. Doesn't matter what I think. No, no importa lo que yo piense. You must consider the one who made heaven and earth. Tienes que considerar al que hizo los cielos y la tierra. What he thinks is good and bad. Lo que él piensa que es bueno y malo. We must seek the Father. Debemos bus buscar al Padre. And the Son. Y al Hijo. Because they are one. Porque ellos son uno. Yeshua said, I and the Father are one. Yeshua dijo, yo soy el Padre, yo, yo, el so Padre to, y yo somos uno. So to be repentive, para ser arrepentido, we must realize what is good tenemos que darnos cuenta que es bueno, and evil y que es malo, to them. Para ellos. Look at verse 14 again, please. Verso 14, por favor. Then if my people who bear my name will humble themselves, pray, 
Seek my face and turn from their evil ways. I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Amen? Amen. Turn from their evil ways, he says. Arrepentirse de sus caminos malvados. Well, what's evil? ¿Qué es malo? My mother always used to say to me, Mi madre me sabía decir, Well, as long as whatever they do in their house over there is okay for them. Lo que hagan en su casa está bien para ellos. As long as it doesn't bother me. Mientras no me moleste esto a mí. Anybody ever have their mother say that? Alguien ha dicho eso de sus madres antes. If they do that over there, it's okay as long as it doesn't bother me. Si eso hacen ellos por ahí está bien mientras no me moleste a mí. So the Lord is saying, seek my face. El Señor está diciendo, busca mi rostro. Here's a question I have. Aquí tengo una pregunta. Did God ever give us a bad commandment? Dios alguna vez nos ha dado un mal mandamiento. Did he ever give any bad commandments? Nos ha dado él algún mal mandamiento. All of his commandments are good. Todos sus mandamientos son buenos. So the evil ways that he's talking about here Las maneras malvadas que él está hablando would be something not spoken by Jehovah. Sería algo que no fue hablado por Jehovah. Not written by Jehovah. No escrito por Jehovah. And not an example that Yeshua gave to his students. Y no un ejemplo que Yeshua dio a sus estudiantes. That's why I say, if Messiah did it, por eso digo, si el Mesías lo hizo, we're doing it here. Lo hacemos aquí. What did the woman reach out to grab? Porque la 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 mujer uh, al, qué es lo que la mujer alcanzó? She grabbed this. Ella agarró esto. Messiah was wearing one of these, right? Mesías estaba vestido uno de estos. Well, you know what? Then I'm going to wear one. Why? Because he did. Yo me voy a poner uno de estos porque lo hizo. Now. If you are confused of what is good and evil, si estás confundido de lo que es malo y bueno, there's a hint of what God gives in this verse. Hay una pista de lo que Dios da en este verso. There's a key verse in verse 13. Hay una clave en el verso 13. Look at verse 13. Veamos al verso 13. If I shut up the sky so that there is no rain, or if I order locusts to devour the land, or if I send an epidemic of sickness among my people. Amen? Amen. The Lord is giving us a hint right there. El Señor nos está dando una pista aquí. How many people know what that hint is? ¿Cuánta gente sabe cuál es esa pista? Right before he says, if my people are called by my name. Dice después de que si mi gente se, que se llama por mi nombre. How many people have been hearing that a lot over the last couple of weeks? ¿Cuántos han estado escuchando eso en las últimas semanas? You know, I've been hearing a lot of big ministries say these lines. Yo he estado escuchando a muchos ministerios grandes diciendo estas cosas. You know, a lot of these national and international ministries. Muchos de estos ministerios internacionales. Have been quoting verse 14. Han estado llamando al verso 14. They skip verse 13. Ellos no se saltan el verso 13. Look at verse 13 again. Vamos al verso 13. If I shut up the sky so that there is no rain, or if I order locusts to devour the land, or if I send an epidemic of sickness among my people. Amen? There yeah. are three things there Hay tres cosas that Jehovah is trying to tell us. Que Jehovah nos está tratando de decir. Remember, this is the Father. Recuerda que este es el Padre. Speaking this passage to Solomon or Shlomo. Hablando este pasaje a, Sol a Salomón. He's giving him three keys. Él está dando tres claves. Shutting up the sky means there's going to be no rain. Apagar el cielo significa que no va, cerrar el cielo significa que no va a haber lluvia. Sending locusts. Mandar uh, langostas. Mean they're going to devour the crops. Que van a devorar las uh, sembradíos. Then they're going to be eaten by the locusts. Y que van a ser comidos por los uh, langostas. And then he gives a hint of sickness. Y después da una pista de enfermedad. All before the Lord says in verse 14. Todo esto dice el Señor antes del verso 14. If my people. Si mi gente. Now, if you're called by his name. Si tú eres llamado por su nombre. If you're a Jew. Si tú eres judío, or a messianic believer o un creyente messianico, or a Christian o un cristiano, then you are called by God's name. Entonces, tú eres llamado por el nombre de Dios. What would the Lord be trying to tell us in verse 13? ¿Qué nos estará tratando de decir el Señor en el verso 13? What would he be trying to tell us? ¿Qué nos estará tratando de decir? Would you like to know? ¿Te gustaría saber? Turn to Deuteronomy 28, Devarim. Vámonos a Deuteronomio 28. Except for Devarim, The book of Deuteronomy, Libro de Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28, please. We're going to look at verse 1 through 24. 
Deuteronomio 28, versos 1 al 24. Yes. Deuteronomy, Devarim 28, verse 1 through 24. Deuteronomio 28, del 1 al 24. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 through 24. Everybody got it? Say amen. amen. If you listen closely to what Adonai your God says, observing and obeying all his mitzvot, which I'm giving you today, Adonai your God will raise you high above all the nations on the earth. And all of the following blessings will be yours in abundance. You will do what Adonai your God says, a blessing on you in the city, and a blessing on you in the court, uh, countryside, a blessing on the fruit of your body, the fruit of the, your land, the fruit of your livestock, the young of your cattle and flocks, a blessing on your grain basket and kneading bowl, a blessing on you when you go out, a blessing on you when you come in. Adonai will cause your enemies attacking you to be defeated before you. They will advance on you one way and flee before you seven ways. Adonai will order a blessing to be with you in your barns and in everything you undertake. He will bless you in the land Adonai your God is giving you. Adonai will establish you as a people separated out for himself as he has sworn to you. If you observe the mitzvot, that's the commandments of Adonai your God and follow his ways. Then all the people on earth will see you that, that Adonai's name, his presence is with you so that they will be afraid of you. Adonai will give you great abundance of good things, of the fruit of your body, the fruit of the livestock, the fruit of your land, and the land Adonai swore to your ancestors to give you. Adonai will open up for you his good treasure of, uh, treasure of the sky and give your land its rain at the right seasons and to bless everything you undertake. You will lend to many nations and not borrow. Adonai will make you the head and not the tail. And you will be only above, never below. If you will listen to, listen to, observe, and obey the mitzvot, that's the commandments of Adonai your God, and not turn away from any of the words I am ordering you today, neither to the right nor to the left, to follow other gods and serve them. Amen? Let's pause at verse 14. Es, eh, detengámonos en el verso 14. Let's pause at verse 14. Detengámonos en el verso 14. How many people want these blessings? ¿Cuántos quieren estas bendiciones? How many people want these blessings? ¿Cuántos quieren estas bendiciones? How many people would like a raise at their job? ¿Cuántos les gustaría que les aumenten el dinero? Eh, how many people would like a job? <laughs> ¿A cuántos les gustaría tener un yeah. trabajo? Oscar, how many, would you like to be so busy you wouldn't even know what to do? ¿Te gustaría estar ocupado que no, no sabrías ni qué hacer? You know, how many people would like that? ¿A qué, qué gente no le gustaría eso? How many people would like so much food they gotta throw it out? ¿A cuántos les gustaría tener tanta comida que debes botarla? How many people would like so much money they wouldn't know what to do. A cuántos les gustaría tener tanto dinero que no sabes ni qué hacer. How many people would like to live in security? A cuántos les gustaría vivir en seguridad. Never worrying about being attacked. Nunca de estar preocupados de ser atacados. How many people would like their children to listen to them? A cuántos les gustaría que sus hijos les escuchen. <laughs> you know? How many people would like shalom? in their home. ¿A cuántos les gustaría shalom en sus casas? How many people would like to be healthy? ¿A cuántos les gustaría ser sanos? Never sick. Nunca estar enfermos. How many people would like to feel like they're 20 again? ¿A cuántos les gustaría escuchar que tienen 20 años? Oh, boy, that would be good, you know, instead of getting out of bed and go, oh. Eso sería lo mejor en vez de estar adolorido. You know, like the tin man. <laughs> you know, the knees go, you know, anybody get that in the morning? You know, Brother Mario's finally got a job again. Man. And he's doing a lot of lifting. He's like, oh, I am not young anymore. <laughs> okay? So how about that? Everybody want these blessings, right? Todos quieren estas bendiciones. How can these blessings be achieved? ¿Cómo pueden estas bendiciones ser alcanzadas? By following the commandments siguiendo los mandamientos de Dios. And there are no bad commandments. Y no hay malos mandamientos. The creator of heaven and earth and of us. El creador del cielo y de la tierra y de nosotros. Would never tell his creation something bad. No le diría nunca su creación algo malo. Because he only wants good for us, he doesn't want evil. Porque él quiere todo lo bueno para nosotros, no la maldad. Look at verse 1 again, please. Vamos al verso 1. If you listen closely to what Adonai your God says, observing and obeying all his mitzvot which I'm giving you today Adonai your God will raise you high above all the nations on earth. Amen? Amen. How many people would like 
others to seek you. ¿Cuántos les gustaría que otros te, te busquen? Clarabel, what do you think of this? ¿Qué pensarías de esto? Oscar, what do you think of this? ¿Qué pensarías acerca de esto? Yes, people are seeking me for my opinion. La gente me está buscando por mi opinión. God's saying that if we do this, Dios está diciendo si hacemos esto, you're going to be sought after. Vas a ser uh, buscado. And the only way to achieve this goal y la única manera de alcanzar esto is to be like those Gentiles in Nineveh. es ser como esos gentiles en Ninive. When Niona told them to repent, they did. Cuando Jonás les dijo arrepiéntense y lo hicieron. Now here's the key to Second Chronicles 7:13. Esta es la clave para Segunda de Crónicas verso 13. Remember, God said in verse 13. Recuerda que Dios dijo en el verso 13. That if you fall away, que si tú te alejas, you're going to get no rain. No vas a tener lluvia. You're going to get locusts. Vas a tener langostas. And you're going to get sickness. Y vas a tener enfermedad. Let's look at now verse 15 through 24 in, in Deuteronomy 28. Ahora veamos a los versos 15 hasta el 24 en Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 through 24 now. Deuteronomy 28 del 15 al 24. But if you refuse to pay attention what Adonai your God says and do not observe and obey his mitzvot and regulations which I am giving you today then all the following curses will be yours in abundance. A curse on you in the city, a curse on you in the countryside, a curse on your grain basket and kneading bowl, a curse on the fruit of your body, the fruit of your land, the young of your cattle and flocks, a curse on you when you come in, a curse on you when you go out. On and I will send on you curses, disasters, frustration, and everything you set out to do until you are destroyed and quickly perish because of your evil actions in abandoning me. On and I will bring on you plague that you will Stay, that will stay with you until he has exterminated you from the land and you are entering to order to take possession of it. Adonai will strike you down for, with wasting diseases, fever, inflammation, fiery heat, drought, blasting wind, winds and mildew, and they will pursue you, uh, uh, pursue you until you perish. The sky over your head will be brass, the earth under you iron. Adonai will turn the rain, your, rain your land needs into powder and dust that will fall on you from the sky until you are destroyed. Amen? Amen? Amen. I didn't write it. Don't get mad at me. Yo no esto, I'm no just reading it. Yo solo lo leo. But here's a Jew warning you. Pero aquí hay un judío que te está avisando. Look at verse 15. Veamos al verso 15. But if you refuse to pay attention to what Adonai your God says and do not observe and obey his misquotes and regulations which I'm giving you today, then all of the following curses will be yours in abundance. Amen? Amen? So God is saying, Dios está diciendo, I'll bless you in abundance te bendeciré en abundancia, and I'll curse you in abundance. Y te maldeciré en abundancia. Personally, I'd like the blessings in abundance. Personalmente, me gustaría las bendiciones en abundancia. But recently, we've been getting a lot of curses in abundance. Pero recientemente hemos estado teniendo muchas maldiciones que abundancia. In verse 24 it speaks about no rain. En el verso 24 habla de no haber lluvia. Did not God say in 2 Chronicles 7:13? No dijo esto Dios en segunda de crónicas verso 3. That I will send no rain. Que no mandaré la lluvia. In verse 20 it speaks of disasters. En el verso 20 habla de los desastres. Was Hurricane Katrina a disaster? Era el huracán Katrina un desastre. Was Hurricane Andrew a disaster? Era el huracán Andrew un desastre. Was Hurricane Sandy a disaster? Fue huracán Sandy un desastre. Anybody see the the satellite photos? Todos han visto las fotos de satélite. Of before and after Hurricane Sandy? Las fotos de antes y después de que el huracán Sandy haya pasado. The Lord did a number on a lot of areas around here. El Señor hizo una destrucción grande en las áreas de aquí. Would bugs be eating all your crops a disaster? ¿Será que los insectos comiéndose tus plantaciones es un desastre? Would drought be a disaster? ¿Será que la sequía es un desastre? Remember we were talking in the news earlier before service? Recuerda que hablábamos en las noticias antes del mensaje. About the farmers hoarding the corn seeds because there's not enough acerca de los de los uh, agricultores guardando las semillas de maíz porque no hay. In verse 22, en verso 22, it speaks of sickness. Habla de uh, enfermedades. So when 
the Lord spoke in Second Chronicles. Cuando el Señor habla en Segunda de Crónicas. To Shlomo this prophecy. A Salomón esta profecía. He was drawing his own people back to the Torah of himself. Estaba llamando a su propia gente a la Torah de vuelta. Now I've heard a lot lately. He escuchado mucho en los últimos días. One of the news things they get is from that Christian magazine called Charisma. Una de las uh, cosas que escuché es de esta revista Charisma de esta cristiana. They had a thing from the Franklin, uh, not Franklin, yeah, from Franklin Graham. Tienen algo, una nota de Franklin Graham. Calling the nation and from his father repentance. Llamando de, a las naciones a arrepentimiento. I've read a lot of other big Christian ministries. He leído de muchos otros ministerios cristianos. Calling for the, our nation here, America, to repent and the world to repent. Llamando a América y al mundo a arrepentirse. And even many messianic leaders calling for repentance. E incluso muchos líderes mesiánicos llamando al arrepentimiento. But they're reading the Second Chronicles passage. Pero están leyendo la, el pasaje de Segunda de Crónicas. Like a five-year-old that's trying to drive a car. Como si fuera un niño de cinco años que está tratando de manejar. They don't have their Hebrew roots. No tienen sus raíces hebreas. If you try to explain trigonometry to a five-year-old. Si estás tratando de explicar trigonometría a un niño de cinco años, the kid is going to do this. El niño va a hacer esto. That's nice. Can we go out and play now? Está, eso está bien. Podemos ir a jugar. If you don't have your Hebrew roots, si tienes, si no tienes tus raíces hebreas, verse 13 is specific. Verso 13 específicamente. Of Second Chronicles 7. De segunda de Crónicas capítulo 7. God gives you hints Dios está dando una pista, saying turn back to my ways they are good diciéndote, arrepiéntete, regresa a mis caminos, this is the buenos. only way to repent Esta es la única manera de arrepentirse. then I'll hear from heaven Entonces escucharé desde el cielo. he will see our hearts Él mirará nuestros corazones. but it can't be repentance for five minutes Pero no puede ser un arrepentimiento de cinco minutos. did anybody ever get a spanking when they were a child Alguien fue castigado cuando era pequeño. Anybody here ever get a spanking when you were a child? Alguien que le ha dado un castigo cuando eran niños. And as you were being brought to the spanking area, y cuando te llevaban al lugar donde te daban un golpecito. How many of us were repentive? Cuántos de nosotros nos arrepentíamos. As you were bringing brought to the bathroom, cuando estabas llevando al hijo al baño. To get your spanking, para tener tu tu castigo. How many people that say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I won't do it again, mommy, no, 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 I won't do it, sorry. Right? How many of us did that? ¿Cuántos de nosotros hicimos eso? You know, you're, you're going, oh, I don't want this banking. Well, you should have thought about that before you did what you weren't supposed to. Y el papá le dice, debes haber pensado esto antes de haber hecho lo que hiciste. Our king. Nuestro rey. He's looking for a heart that's repentant. Está buscando por un corazón que sea arrepentido. And he gives you the hints how to do it. Y te da las pistas de cómo hacerlo. One line of scripture is not good enough, people. Una línea de escritura no es suficiente. We can't just say we want to be repentant. No podemos solo decir queremos arrepentirnos. We must know how to be repentant. Debemos saber cómo arrepentirnos. Because God takes pleasure in this. Porque Dios toma placer en esto. Section number three, part three. Parte tres, sección tres. Jehovah takes pleasure in Jehovah se complace en Turn to the book of Mishlai the book of Proverbs Sefer Mishlai Proverbs 28 Vamos a Proverbios 28 Proverbs 28 Proverbios 28 Anybody getting anything out of today's message so far? Están obteniendo algo del mensaje hasta Are you new people happy you're here or you're like this guy's nuts? Están felices <laughs> Proverbs 28 Proverbios 28 Verse 7 through 10 Verso 7 al 10 Proverbs 28, verse 7 through 10. Proverbios 28, verso 7 al 10. God takes pleasure in certain things, right? Dios se complace en ciertas cosas. Okay, so we're going to learn now what God takes pleasure in. Jehovah takes pleasure in. Vamos a ver en qué Dios se complace. Proverbs 28, verse 7 through 10. Proverbios 28, eh, versos 7 al 10. A wise son observes Torah. But a friend of those lacking restraint shames his father. He who increases his wealth by charging exorbitant interest amasses it for someone who will bestow it on the poor. If a person 
will not listen to Torah, even his prayer is an abomination. Whoever causes the honest to pursue evil ways will himself fall into his own pit. But the pure-hearted will inherit good. Amen? Amen. Let's look at verse 10, please. Vamos al verso 10. Proverbs 28, verse 10. Proverbs 28, del 7, uh, el verso 10. Whoever causes the honest to pursue evil ways will himself fall into his own pit. But the pure-hearted will inherit good. Amen? Amen. In verse 10, we see a choice. En el verso 10, vemos una elección. Following evil and following good. Seguir lo malo o seguir lo bueno. This is what each of us has a job to do. Esto es por lo que cada uno de nosotros tiene un trabajo que hacer. Each one of us here and those that are listening online. Cada uno de nosotros aquí, los que están escuchando en línea. You will stand before God. Estarás de enfrente de Dios. Each one of us will have the opportunity to stand before God himself. Cada uno de nosotros tendrá la oportunidad de estar enfrente de Dios. I will not be with you. Yo no estaré contigo. But there is a good Jewish lawyer that may be with you. Pero va a haber un judío, un abogado judío que esté para contigo. He has never lost a case. Y nunca ha perdido un caso. He is a good accountant. Es un buen contador. You know, Maribel was married to a good Jewish accountant. Maribel estuvo casada con un buen contador judío. But there's one who's better. Pero hay uno que es mejor. He's Jewish. Él es judío. And his name is Yeshua. Y su nombre es Yeshua. He will stand with you. Él estará contigo. If you decide to inherit good. Si tú deseas heredar bien. And you can only inherit good. Y solo puedes heredar lo que es bueno. If you are pure hearted. Si tú eres puro de corazón. There is a choice between what is evil. Hubo una elección entre lo que es malo. How many people here want to follow evil? ¿Cuántos quieren seguir la maldad aquí? You know, Satan worshiping looks kind of fun. Es, el ser adorador de Satanás es como divertido. How many people want to, nobody wants to follow evil? Nadie quiere seguir la maldad. Well, what is evil and what is good? ¿Qué es lo malo y qué es lo bueno? That's the question that you must ask. Esa es la pregunta que te debes hacer. What does it mean to be evil here? ¿Qué significa ser malo? What does it mean to be evil? ¿Qué significa ser malo? Simple way to put it. Una simple manera de ponerlo. Messiah did it. El Mesías lo hizo. Then do it because he's good. Entonces hazlo porque él es bueno. And even Yeshua said, e incluso Yeshua dijo, Why are you calling me good? ¿Por qué me estás llamando bueno? Only the Father in heaven is good. Solo el Padre en el cielo es bueno. So if Father said worship on the Sabbath, si el Padre dice, adora el sábado, then this is good. Entonces esto está bien. Are we in agreement? Estamos de acuerdo. That God would never tell us something bad? Que Dios nunca nos dirá algo malo. Did Yeshua worship on the Sabbath? Yes. Yeshua adoró el sábado. Now if Paul is saying don't do that, I'm, uh, Paul, you're a nice guy. Si Pablo dice eso, yo le voy a decir eres buen simpático. You're from my tribe. Eres de mi tribu. But dude, you're wrong. Pero tú estás mal. Yeshua wrote number four. Yeshua escribió número cuatro. And he said, Keep my commandments. Y él dice, guarda mis mandamientos. You need to be pure hearted. Tienes que ser puro de corazón. Yes. Jehovah told us to do this to be good. Yeshua, nos dijo que tenemos que hacer esto para ser bien. Well, bien. What is good? Que es bueno. Don't curse your neighbor, right? No maldigas a tu vecino. Oh, that neighbor's in my parking spot again. Mi, mi vecino está en mi parqueadero otra vez. Oh, they're playing that loud music again. Están poniendo música muy fuerte otra vez. It's Friday night. I'm trying to go to bed because of the Sabbath to get here, right? Es uh, viernes de la noche y estoy tratando de dormir por el sábado. And you hear your neighbor downstairs. Y escuchas a tu vecino abajo. <tose> Oh, upstairs, okay. So, but you can't curse your neighbor. Pero no puedes maldecir a tu vecino. The Lord said, don't curse it. El Señor dice, no lo maldigas. Would worshiping other gods be something that is bad? Será adorar a otros dioses algo malo. Jehovah says, you shall have no other gods before me. Jehovah dice que no debes tener otros dioses antes de mí. In verse 10, it says, pure-hearted will inherit good. 
en el verso 10 dice los, los íntegros heredarán el bien And in Deuteronomy 28, y en Deuteronomio 28 Jehovah said if we listen carefully, dice si escuchamos con mucho cuidado closely atentamente to the commandments a los mandamientos of the Father and the Son, del Padre y el Hijo we will be blessed. seremos bendecidos And if we are pure -hearted, there will be the good that comes. y si somos puros del corazón habrá la bondad que viene simple, right? simple Okay, this, this title is in section, the, the section is entitled, la, el, el, la sección se titula, Jehovah takes pleasure in. Jehovah toma placer en. Let's go to the prophet Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah chapter 18, please. Vámonos a Jeremías capítulo 18. Jeremiah 18, please. Jeremías 18. Jeremiah 18, verse 7 through 12. Jeremías 18, del 7 al 12. The Lord is always wanting us to come back to Him. El Señor siempre quiere que regresemos a él. See, that's what real grace is. Eso es lo que es gracia verdadera. Because God has every right today to kill each one of us. Porque Dios tiene todo el derecho de hoy día matarnos a todos. How many people have been perfect today? ¿Cuántos han sido perfectos hoy? Has anybody been perfect today? ¿Alguien ha sido perfecto no hoy? No perfect people. You sure? No hay gente Clarabel? perfecta. <laughs> Jeremiah 18, verse 7 through 12. Jeremías 18, del 7 al 12. At one time I may speak about uprooting, breaking down, and destroying a nation or a kingdom. But if that nation turns from their evil, which, I, which prompted me to speak against it, then I relent concerning the disaster I had planned to inflict on it. Similarly, at another time I may speak about building and planting a nation or kingdom. But if it behaves wickedly from my perspective and doesn't listen to what I say, then I change my mind and don't do the good I said I would do that would have helped it. So now, tell the people of Yehuda and those living in Yerushalayim that this is what Adonai says. I am designing disaster for you, working out my plan against you. Turn Each of you from his evil ways improve your conduct and actions. But they will answer, it's hopeless. We will stick to our own plans. Each of us will stubbornly follow his own evil desires. Amen? Look at verse 8, please. Vamos al verso 8. But if that nation turns from their evil, which prompted me to speak against it, then I relent concerning the disaster I'd planned to inflict on it. Amen? Amen. Once again, we see something similar to Yonah. Una vez más vemos algo aquí similar a lo de Jonás. But remember, Nineveh was a city. Pero recuerda que Nineveh era una ciudad. Here, Jehovah is saying a nation. Jehovah está hablando aquí de una nación. That if that nation, que si esta nación, God wants to bless us, people. Dios quiere, nos, quiere bendecirnos. He wants to do good for us. Él quiere hacer bien para nosotros. But we, pero nosotros, the people, la gente who formed a more perfect union que forma la unión más perfecta with the words of God in our constitution con las palabras de Dios en nuestra constitución we must turn nosotros debemos arrepentirnos each person cada persona God is saying if I see this Dios está diciendo si veo esto I was planning some disaster for y'all estoy planeando un desastre para ustedes but you know what hey Michael come here pero sabes que Michael, ven. Gabriel, ven acá. Gabriel, ven acá. Look. Mira. There's Torah happening in Jersey. Hay la Torah que están enseñando en el Jersey. Michael says, did you see that show that they had on? ¿Viste ese show que estaban puesto? Yeah, I know, but look. Pero mira. There's somebody talking about my Torah. Hay alguien que está hablando de mi Torah. God will then hear from heaven. Entonces Dios escuchará desde el cielo. He wants to see us turn. Él quiere vernos arrepentidos. He wants to bless. Él quiere bendecir. Remember that picture around Sukkot? Recuerda esta fotografía en Sukkot. Where that guy had these chickens. 
donde este hombre que tenía estos pollos and because he's following Torah, y porque él está siguiendo la Torah uno de sus pollos puso huevos del porte de una pelota de béisbol, the size of a baseball. del tamaño de un béisbol and made an omelet for two people. e hizo un omelette para dos From one egg. de un huevo God is looking and he wants to bless Dios está mirando y quiere bendecir. If we teshuva, repent and return. Si nos arrepentimos y nos regresamos. He's looking for a heart from a nation. Está buscando por el corazón en una nación. A people that realize that they're doing evil and they want to do good. Gente que se dio cuenta que estaban haciendo mal y ahora están queriendo hacer el bien. We saw in Deuteronomy 28 the blessings and the curses. Vi, vimos en Deuteronomio 28 las bendiciones y maldiciones. We as a body nosotros como cuerpo need to say, I'm gonna follow Yeshua. necesitamos decir voy a seguir a Yeshua I'm gonna follow Jesus. voy a seguir a Jesús I'm gonna walk in his footsteps voy a caminar en sus pasos and do what he did so that we can get a blessing. y voy a hacer lo que Él hizo así podremos obtener una bendición we see in history porque vemos en historia that when a nation repents, que cuando una nación se arrepiente a nation that was once divided, una nación que estuvo dividida will come back together. regresará de vuelta And there's a promise in this verse y hay una promesa en el verso of mercy upon the nation. de uh, piedad en la, en la nación Look at verse 10. veamos el verso 10 But if it behaves wickedly from my perspective and doesn't listen to what I say Then I change my mind and don't do the good I said I would do. That would have helped it. Amen? Amen. We must go back to things from his perspective. Debemos regresar a las cosas de, de, de su perspectiva. We must look at the father's perspective. Debemos ver a la perspectiva del padre. Jehovah wants us back. Jehovah nos quiere de vuelta. But we must ask, what is your perspective? Pero debemos preguntarnos cuál es tu perspectiva. Would you ever change? Cambiarás. Isn't aren't we the temple of God, people? Nosotros somos el templo de la de, de Dios. It says in the Gospel of Kepha, right? Dice en Peter, el Evangelio de Pablo, de that Pedro, we are the temple of God, right? Que somos el templo de Dios. So we must do things that are right in God's perspective. Debemos hacer las cosas que están bien en la perspectiva de Dios. If you call yourself a believer, si tú te haces llamar creyente, and you believe the Bible is true, y crees que la Biblia es verdadera, remember God destroyed the world with a flood. Recuerda que Dios destruyó el mundo con una, uh, un diluvio. And the Bible wasn't written yet, was y la Biblia no estaba escrita aún. God kicked Adam and Chava out of the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Eden. Dios mandó a Adán y Eva del jardín del Edén. For breaking one rule. Por romper una regla. And it was not written. Y no fue escrita. So now that God has given us His Word, Dios nos está dando ahora su palabra. He has written it down for us. La ha escrito por nosotros. He has given us His own example. Nos ha dado su propio ejemplo. We need to understand what His perspective is. Necesitamos entender cuál es su perspectiva. Look at verse 10. Veamos al verso 10. But if it behaves wickedly from my perspective and doesn't listen to what I say, then I change my mind and don't do the good I said I would do. That would have helped it. Amen? Amen. You have to look and ask what wicked is for, from his perspective. Tienes que ver lo que es malvado ante él. And you might want to look at the satellite photos from Sandy. Y quizá quieras ver las fotos de satélite de Sandy. I mean, you look at the boardwalk or the boardwalk that used to be there. Si tú ves ahí al, al, al muelle que sabía estar ahí. In Seaside Heights. In Seaside Heights. I've been going down to that boardwalk all my life for almost 100 mm -hmm. years. Yo me iba a, esa, a ese uh, muelle por muchos años. The, the roller coasters in the ocean. Eh, la montaña rusa está en el océano. You see the photos from Coney Island. Ves las fotos de Coney Island. The roller coasters in the ocean. La montaña rusa está en el océano. God is looking for us to turn. Dios nos está buscando que nos arrepintamos. Now there's a lot of ridiculous scientists. Hay muchos uh, científicos ridículos. That's saying it's global warming. Que están diciendo que es calentamiento global. Then why was there a drought? ¿Por qué entonces hubo una sequía? If we're getting bigger storms, then why was there a drought in the whole Midwest for this year? Si estamos teniendo uh, um, sequías, ¿por qué no llovió en el Medio Oriente? Look, look, at, oh, verse, look at verse 11. Vamos al verso 11. So now tell the people of Yehuda and those living in Yerushalayim that this is what Adonai says. I am designing disaster for you. 
working out my plan against you. Turn each of you from his evil ways. Improve your conduct and actions. Amen? Amen. Now here's mercy. This is grace being found in the Old Testament. Ahora vemos la gracia encontrada aquí en el Antiguo Testamento. Do you see that grace, people? ¿Ves esta gente de la gracia? God's sending a warning. Dios está mandando una advertencia. Turn, please. Arrepiéntete, por favor. Improve your conduct. Es, uh, incrementa, haz mejor tu conducta. I'm showing you grace. Te estoy mostrando gracia. I'm sending you a prophet. Te estoy enviando un profeta. Turn, please. Por favor, ar ar arrepiéntate. So that I don't have to show you the right hand of fellowship. Así no te tengo que mostrar la mano derecha de la hermandad. But they say, you turn. He says, turn. Each of us turn. Pero no está diciendo todo, cada uno de ustedes arrepiéntanse. Or God's going to have to bring a whooping. O Dios va a tener que mandar su golpe. But if we relent and repent. Pero si nos arrepentimos. Listen to that again. If we relent and repent. Si cambiamos de parecer y nos arrepentimos. The Lord will bring a blessing. El Señor mandará una bendición. Look at verse 12. Vamos al verso 12. But they will answer, it's hopeless. We will stick with our own plans. Each of us will stubbornly follow his own desires. Amen? How many of us are following our own desires? ¿Cuántos de nosotros estamos siguiendo nuestros propios deseos? Compare your life to Messiah's life. Compara, compara tu vida con la vida del Mesías. Look at yourself in the mirror. Mírate en el espejo. And say, Messiah did this, do I do this? Di, el Mesías hizo esto, hago yo esto. Match your life up to his. Uh, um, pon tu vida para la edad de él. Turn to Ezekiel 33, please. Vámonos a Ezequiel 33. We're going to look at verse 10 and 11. Eh, Ezequiel. Ezequiel. Chapter 33. Capítulo 33. Verse 10 and 11. Verso 10 y 11. Anybody got anything today? Amen. Okay, Oscar, go go to Isaiah and make a right. <laughs> Ezekiel 33, please. Ezequiel 33. Verse 10 and 11. Verso 10 y 11. Ezekiel 33, verse 10 and 11. Ezekiel 33, verse 10. Everybody got it? Say amen, please. Amen. Therefore, you, son of man, stay, say to the house of Israel, you say our crimes and sins are weighing us down. We're pining away because of them. How can we even stay alive? Say to them, as I live, swears Adonai Elohim, I take no pleasure in having the wicked person die, but in having the wicked person turn from his way and live. So repent. Turn from your evil ways. Why should you die, house of Israel? Amen? Amen. Let's read verse 11 again, please. Veamos el verso 11 otra vez. Say to them, as I live, swears Adonai Elohim, I take no pleasure in having the wicked person die, but in having the wicked person turn from his way of life, way and live. So repent. Turn from your evil ways. For why should you die, house of Israel? Amen? Amen. See, God takes no pleasure in spanking us. Dios no le gusta o no toma con placer en castigarnos. He takes no pleasure in sending hurricanes. No se complace en mandar huracanes. He takes no pleasure in sending earthquakes. No se en mandar terremotos. He sends, takes no pleasure in sending droughts. No toma placer en mandar sequías. But he will not force us to follow him. Pero no nos va a forzar a seguirlo. He gave us his word. Él nos dio su palabra. He wrote it down for us to read for ourselves. Lo escribió para nosotros para leerlo. He walked as a man for 33 years. Caminó como hombre por tres años. And gave us his personal example. Y nos dio su ex ejemplo personal. He told the 11 Jews. Él les dijo a los 11 judíos. To go make Talmudim disciples. Que vayan y hagan discípulos. Teaching people to believe and obey. Enseñándoles a la gente a creer y obedecer. And now in verse 11 of Ezekiel. Y ahora en el verso 11 de Ezequiel. It shows God's heart. Muestra el corazón de Dios. He does not want to spank, but he has to. Él no quiere golpear, pero lo tiene que hacer. He wants to give grace and mercy. Él quiere dar gracia y, y compasión. He wants to bless. Él quiere bendecir. But there also speaks in this verse Pero también habla en este verso that there is a limit. Que hay un limite. There is a limit to grace and mercy. Hay un limite para la gracia y el, y, y la misericordia. Did any of you ever get that look from your parents? 
tuvo alguien una mirada así como de sus padres. Or your parent would give you the look. Cuando padre, el padre te quedaba mirando. And then your parent would do this with their glasses on the second time. Y después bajaba sus lentes la segunda vez. And then your parent would then go like that the third time. Y después agachaba la mirada. And then after that there was no more grace. Y después de eso ya no había gracia. I believe God has done this. Yo creo que Dios ha hecho ya eso. And he's given us the eye. Y nos está dando su mirada. There is a limit, people, to the grace and mercy. Hay un límite para la gracia y la compasión. But verse 11, Pero en el verso 11 says, repent. Dice, arrepiéntanse. You have to ask, what is evil? Tienes que preguntarte, ¿qué es malvado? But sometimes we got to learn. Pero muchas veces tenemos que aprender. Some people don't like to listen to the older wise ones with the gray beards. Mucha gente no le gusta escuchar a los viejos con barbas uh, uh, grises. You know, a lot of us older people, we've already made our mistakes. Mucha de, de nosotros, la gente mayor, hemos cometido nuestros errores. Boy, would I like to go back a thousand years. No me gustaría a mí regresar a tal, años atrás. And do things over again. Y hacer las cosas de nuevo. You know, you get this gray beard and gray hair. Tienes estas canas. You've made your mistakes. Tú cometiste tus errores. But a lot of people like to be teenagers. Pero mucha gente le gusta ser And they got to follow their own daggone way. Y tienen que seguir su misma manera. You know, but the older wise ones know, you know what? Yeah, we got to follow that Torah. Pero los más mayores te van a decir, tienes que seguir la Torah. Many people don't look at the steadfastness of God. Mucha gente no ve a lo que Dios hace. I mean, that guy had an egg the size of a baseball. Este, este hombre tenía un huevo del tamaño de una pelota de béisbol. Era un huevo bien grande. Right? But many of us gotta learn Pero muchos de nosotros tuvo que aprender. How God speaks his word, como Dios habla su palabra. But he gives us our own lives to live. Pero Dios nos da sus, nuestras propias vidas para vivir. Many people fail. Mucha gente falla. To see how the Bible is a history book. A ver cómo la Biblia es un libro de historia. And a guidebook for our lives. Y un libro de guía para nuestras vidas. To see what is good and bad. Para ver qué es bueno y malo. The Bible chronicles history. La, la Biblia es uh, un libro de crónicas. It talks about famines. Habla de um, sequías. You know, remember in the book of Ruth there was a great famine in the land, right? Recuerda en el libro de Ruth había una sequía grande. I, I, I guess that was global warming. Yo creo que eso era calentamiento global. <laughs> they were having global warming in the time of Ruth. Estábamos teniendo ya calentamiento de glo global en el tiempo de Ruth. I guess the flood that was just like the icebergs had just melted. El diluvio son los uh, los témpanos que se derritieron. The Bible is a history book. La Biblia es un libro de historia. It tells of times of good and the times of bad. No dice de tiempos que fueron buenos y malos. But it shows of a covenant. Y muestra un pacto. Of a faithful covenant. De un pacto de fidelidad. And tremendous blessings if we follow the covenant. Y bendiciones grandes si seguimos los mandamientos. We will get shalom. Shalom. If you follow God's covenants, si sigues los, uh, pacto, los mandamientos de Dios. you get shalom. Vas a obtener shalom. Remember, Yeshua said, I give you my shalom. He didn't Rec say, I give you my peace. He's a Jew talking to Jews. Él es un judío hablando a judíos. And then when he said, I give you my shalom, he, gave, he said, I give you 23 things. Y cuando dijo él, Te doy mi shalom, envió 23 cosas. Because shalom just doesn't mean hello and goodbye. Porque Shalom no, no solo significa hola y Dios. It has 23 definitions. Tiene 23 definiciones. So if you follow God's covenant, you get Shalom. Si, tiene, si sigues el pacto de Dios, tienes Shalom. You get abundant food. Tienes uh, comida abundante. No famines. No hay uh, sequías. No sickness. No hay enfermedad. No plagues. No hay plagas. Prosperity. Prosperidad. But so many people fail to see that. Pero mucha gente falla en ver esto. That there's two sides to this marriage. Que hay dos lados en este matrimonio. This marriage of heaven and earth. Este matrimonio del cielo y la tierra. And when we are faithful to our marriage. Y cuando somos fieles a nuestro matrimonio. There is joy. Hay, hay gozo. Happiness. A uh, felicidad. Laughter. A uh, sonrisas. Pleasure. Placer. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom in the whole family. Shalom in the family. If you're faithful in your marriage, that these are the things you're, you're getting. Si eres fiel en tu matrimonio, estas cosas obtendrás. 
But when you're unfaithful in this marriage, Pero si eres infiel en este matrimonio, there is sadness, hay tristeza, tears, llanto, anger, eh, enojo, sin, pecado, fornication, fornicación, divorce, divorcio, broken families, familias divididas. Many people lose every, have to lose everything Mucha gente tiene que perder todo before they realize that God wants you all to himself. Antes de darse cuenta que Dios quiere de ti. You know, many husbands who have fornicated on their wives. Muchos esposos que han fornicado o sido infieles. I've heard this in many counseling sessions. He escuchado yo en muchas sesiones de de consejería. But I love you, honey. Pero te amo, amor. Ma Mama, I love you, honey. Mama. Yo te amo. I, you know, it was I just messed up. Solo me cometí un error. But it destroys the family. Pero destruye la familia. It destroys the marriage. Destruye el matrimonio. It destroys the children. Destruye a los niños. The same goes with heaven and earth. Lo mismo es con el cielo y la tierra. We go to part four. Vamos a la parte cuatro. The younger son. El hijo joven o el hijo menor. Turn to Luke, the Gospel of Luke. Vámonos al Evangelio de Lucas. Chapter 15. Capítulo 15. Verse 11 through 32. Verso 11 al 32. The section is called the younger son. El hijo menor. Sección Luke cuatro. chapter 15, please. The Gospel mm. of Luke. Lucas 15. Verse 15. Uh, chapter 15. Capítulo 15. Verse 11 through 32. Verso 11 al 32. Luke 15. Lucas 15. Verse 11 through 32. Verso 11 al 32. When you got it, say amen. Amen. Go to Mark and make a right. <laughs> Again, Yeshua said, a man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the estate that will be mine. So the father divided the property between them. As soon as he could convert his share into cash, the younger son left home and went off to a distant country where he squandered his money in reckless living. But after he had spent it all, a severe famine arose through that country and he began to feel the pinch. So he went and attached himself to one of the citizens of that country who sent him into the fields to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the carob pods the pigs were eating, but no one gave him any. At last he came to his senses and said, any number of my father's hired workers have food to spare. And here I am starving to death. I'm going to get up and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me like one of your hired workers. So he got up and started back to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was moved with pity. He ran and threw his arms around him and kissed him warmly. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But his father said to his slaves, Quick, bring out a robe, the best one, and put it, in, put it on him, and put a ring on his finger and shoes on his feet. And bring the calf that has been fattened up and kill it. Let's eat and have a celebration. For the son of mine was dead, but he's alive again. He was lost, but now he has been found. And they began celebrating. Now the older son was in the field. As he came close to the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of his servants and asked, what's going on? The servant told him, your brother has come back. Your father has slaughtered the calf and it's that was fattened up because he was he has gotten him back safe and sound but the older son became angry and refused to go inside so his father came out and said and pleaded with him look the son answered i've worked for you all these years and i've never disobeyed your orders but you have never even given me a young goat so i could celebrate with my friends yet the son of, of yours comes who squandered your property with prostitutes, and for him you slaughter the fattened calf. Son, you are always with me, said the father, and everything I have is yours. 
we had to celebrate and rejoice because his brother of yours was dead but has come back to life. He was lost but has been found. Amen? Amen. Let's break this whole passage apart. Dividamos este mensaje. Let's Digo go back to parte. verse 11. Vamos a volta verse 11. You're going to see something really amazing when we really break this down. Vas a ver algo sorprendente cuando dividamos esta lectura. Look at verse 11, please. Vamos al verso 11. Again, Yeshua said, a man had two sons. Amen? Amen. Now, we're going to take a detailed look at this passage. Vamos a ver una, a mirar este pasaje detalladamente. Now, Yeshua gives this example. Yeshua da este ejemplo. And we'll, we're, going to, we're going to understand why the two sons in a few minutes. Y vamos a entender por qué los hijos en unos minutos. First, let's look at now at verse 12. Veamos al verso 12. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the estate that will be mine. So the father divided the property between them. Amen? First, Yeshua talks about two sons. Primero, Yeshua habla de dos hijos. That the younger son, the more, less experienced one, que el hijo menor, el que tiene menos experiencia. he wants his share. Él quiere su parte. Sobre Now, ese. Most of the time, Mucho de, muchas veces, you get an inheritance a ti te dan una herencia. after the death of the parents. Después de la muerte de los padres. So what does this show about the younger son? ¿Qué muestra esto acerca del hijo menor? It shows great selfishness. Habla de gran um, uh, envidia. The son just wants me, me, me de gran egoísmo porque el hijo quiere solo para él Give me my stuff. dame mis cosas If that were my kid, si él fuera mi hijo quieres que te dé tus cosas There's the door. ahí está la puerta Open it. ábrela there you go. Your stuff's out there. tus cosas están afuera But why does Yeshua Give us this passage. Pero por qué Yeshua nos da este pasaje? Why is he showing the selfishness of the younger son? Por qué él está mostrando el egoísmo del hijo? Now this younger son, el hijo menor, does not understand, no entiende, how his actions, cómo sus acciones, are going to affect the rest of the family. Van a afectar al resto de la familia. Because remember, when you get the inheritance, recuerda que cuando te dan la herencia, this was property. Esta era propiedad, that was all yours que era toda tuya. to farm para ten, uh, uh, trabajar en ella. to use it for grazing for your animals para utilizarla para tus animales. and now you got a neighbor that you may not like Ahora vas a tener un vecino que quizá no te va a gustar. living right next door to you Viviendo al lado tuyo. so here the son didn't care about the family al hijo no le importó la familia. he only cared about himself a él solo le importó de él mismo. Now look at verse 13. Vamos al verso 13. As soon as he can convert the sh his share to cash, into cash, the younger son left home and went off to a distant country where he squandered his money in reckless living. Amen? Amen. The word squander there La palabra de ahí, in the Greek means en el griego significa, to scatter abroad significa el tirar lejos to disperse Dispersar. to winnow like you're, you're taking uh, uh, the wheat in the chaff and winnowing it uh, como like throwing it up cortar, in the air cortar, oh, uh, uh, lanzar en el aire. so it separates es separar. so this is what squander means Esto es lo que significa desechar. that this kid took his money que este hombre tomó su dinero and basically threw it in the air y básicamente lo tiró en el aire and this shows what the younger son does with all his stuff y esto muestra lo que el hijo joven hace con sus cosas he goes far away from the father's house él se aleja de la casa del padre because I don't want to deal with those rules anymore porque no quiero estar con esas reglas más it looks better to do what the heathen are doing over there y eso mejor que se hace aquí que allá like remember Yonah had to go all the way to Nineveh right ven como Jonás fue a Nineveh which was pretty far away que fue, era muy lejos. So it shows that the younger son did not care about his inheritance. Muestra aquí que el hijo menor no le importó su herencia. Was not thinking about the future. No estaba pensando en el futuro. Now look at verse 30. Vamos al verso 30. Yet the son of your comes who squandered your property with prostitutes and 
For him, you slaughtered a fattened calf. Amen? Amen. So the older son el hijo más mayor lets us know about what the younger son did. Nos deja saber lo que el hijo menor hizo. So he was hanging out with prostitutes, estaba con prostitutas, paying money for things pagando dinero por cosas, that should only be for marriage. Que solo deben ser para el matrimonio. And when you live that life, drugs are normally part of that life. Y cuando vives esa vida, normalmente las drogas son parte de, la, de esa vida. And so this kid is like You know, spending his money, like going down to Atlantic City and giving the casino your money. Este muchacho está disfrutando como es Atlantic City y derrochar el dinero. So here it is, he's going in fornication. Está en la fornicación. Not caring about the family. No le importa acerca de la familia. Only caring about himself. Solo le importa acerca de él. Look at verse 14. Vamos al verso 14. But after he had spent it all, a severe famine arose through that country, and he began to feel the pinch. Amen. I guess it was global warming. Quizá era calentamiento global. Ah, the, you know, the, see, the scientists don't see the history book of the Bible. Los científicos no ven el libro de historia de la Biblia. Oh, we're having droughts because of global warming. Tenemos sequías por el calentamiento global. There were no cars in the time of this Gospel of Luke. No habían carros en el tiempo del Evangelio de Lucas. Okay, so here there was a severe famine. Aquí vemos que había una severa uh, hambruna. And then the key word there is pinch. Y la palabra aquí es uh, pinchar. It's not pinching as you're pinching your skin. No es como pincharte la piel. The pinching means you got no food. Quiere decir que no tenía comida. Has anybody ever gone without fasting because you had no food? Alguien ha tenido que uh, ayunar porque no había comida. Has anybody ever here missed a meal because you, you didn't have any money to buy food? Alguien ha perdido una comida porque no ha tenido dinero. There's a lot of people around the globe doing that. Hay mucha gente alrededor del mundo que hace eso. See, when you don't follow God's rules, cuando no sigues las reglas de Dios, and you want to live the way the pagans do, y quieres vivir la manera que los paganos lo hacen, what's going on in America? ¿Qué pasa aquí en América? We had the worst drought we've had since the Great Depression. Tuvimos la, la peor sequía desde la Gran Depresión. Remember in the news we had that picture of the horse? Recuerdan las noticias del el caballo? Be, the, the, the farmers can't feed the animals. Los agricultores ya no pueden alimentar a los caballos. One bale of hay un montón de, de heno was going for $125 this summer. Costaba $125 dólares este verano. One cow una vaca eats one bale of hay per day. Come un, un bloque de ese heno por día. But when there's a drought, no grass grows. Pero cuando hay sequía, no hay uh, hierba. So there's no hay for the animals. Entonces no hay heno para los animales. So here, the young son who left the father's house. El hijo menor que dejó la casa del padre. Brings on the promises of God. Trae las promesas de Dios. That we read in Deuteronomy 28. Que leímos en Deuteronomio 28. Look at verse 17 through 18. Vamos al verso 17 al 18. At last he came to a census and said, any number of my father's hired workers have food to spare and here I am starving to death I'm going to get up and go back to my father and say to him father I have sinned against heaven and against you amen, amen. so the younger son finally comes to his senses El hijo menor finalmente viene a sus sentidos otra vez. what did it take for him to want to go back to his father's house ¿Qué le tomó a él para pensar en regresar a la casa de su padre? to lose everything en perder todo He had to lose everything. Él tuvo que perder todo. And this is Yeshua giving this example. Y este es Yeshua dándonos un ejemplo. Why would he use this example? ¿Por qué él utilizaría este ejemplo? That the son finally teshuvas. Que finalmente el hijo regresó. Teshuva means to repent and return. Teshuva significa regresar, arrepentirse y regresar. You see the son says heaven first. I, I repent to heaven first. Es como el hijo dice, me arrepiento al cielo primero. Now, we do see grace in this passage. Vemos la gracia en este pasaje. Because the father doesn't want anybody to die in sin. Porque el padre no quiere que nadie muera en pecado. So he kept the son alive. Mantuvo al hijo vivo. So that he could see that going back to daddy's house is good. Para que él pueda ver que regresar a la casa del papá es bueno. So the son does not die in sin. El hijo no moriría en pecado. He grew up knew, knowing the truth in his father's house. Él creció sabiendo la verdad en la casa de su padre. How do we know that? ¿Cómo sabemos esto? Because he says, I sinned against you, father. 
porque le dice pecado en contra de ti. So he, the son, the younger son, knows the truth. El hijo menor sabe la verdad. Because he learned the truth at his father's house, because he says, I sinned against you. Él aprendió la verdad en la casa del padre porque le dice pequé en contra tuya. Come on, did any of you when you're growing up? Quizá cuando ustedes crecían. Ever think you're, oh, your parents are idiots. Han pensado que los papás son idiotas. They just don't understand me. Ellos no me entienden. They just don't understand me. Ellos no me entienden. There's nothing my children could do. No hay nada que mis hijos puedan hacer. That I haven't already done. Que ya he hecho yo. I wasn't always a rabbi. Nunca, no siempre fui un rabino. I was a muscle head. Yo fui una cabeza de muscle. A rock and roll guy. Un uh, hombre de rock and roll. I worked in television and radio and production en televisión, radio y producción. I was at a party I kid you not I, I estuve en una fiesta. did anybody unfortunately ever see the movie Scarface ¿Alguien ha visto la película, uh, cara cortada? and at the end of the movie y al final de la película, there was cocaine about that high and about that wide había cocaine en una mesa así de grande. I was doing sound at a party one night yo estaba haciendo, manejando el sonido en una fiesta una noche. For some very rich people. Para una gente muy millonaria. And there was that much cocaine at the party. Y había tanta cocaína así. So I've said, Ma, Ma, you just don't understand me. Entonces yo decía, no me entiendes, mamá. I need to do this. Yo necesito hacer esto. So here the son in this parable. El hijo aquí en esta parábola. He wanted to get away from his family. Él quiso alejarse de su familia. Those Jesus freaks. Esos uh, locos de Jesús. Following God. Siguiendo a Dios. Saying about those commandments, sir. I don't. I don't want to follow them. Siguiendo esos mandamientos, yo no quiero seguirlos. Uh, finally, you know, the Father in heaven shows him some grace. Finalmente el Padre le muestra gracia. I want to eat what the pigs are eating. Quiero comer lo que los cerdos comen. Nobody will give me any food. Nadie me da comida. Hey, Michael. Look at this. Michael, ven a, ven a ver. Gabriel. Gabriel. Look. Ven, mira. Hey. He's finally getting it. Él finalmente entendió. Yeah, he was a hard hit, don't you think? Era un testarudo, ¿verdad? We took everything away from him? Le quitamos todo. Yeah, he's got nothing. Ya no tiene nada. I think he's even thinking of eating the pig. Yo creo que está pensando incluso comerse el cerdo. So finally, the child loses everything. Finalmente este, este muchacho pierde todo. And then wants to go back to the father's house. Y después quiere regresar a la casa del padre. Now look at verse 20 and 21. Ahora veamos al verso 20 y 21. So he got up, started back to his father, but while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was moved with pity. He ran and threw his arms around him and kissed him warmly. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Amen? Amen? Amen. The father sees his son. El padre ve a su hijo. And he is joyful. Y está feliz. He knows his kid finally realizes. Él sabe que finalmente su hijo se dio cuenta. And he's coming back home. Y está regresando a casa. But he also is coming back humbly, the son. Pero también está viniendo humildemente. That kid wasn't humble when he left, though. Ese muchacho no era humilde cuando se fue. That kid thought, you know what? Ese hombre pensó. Mom, she's nuts. Mamá está loca. Mom, you're always talking about that God stuff. Mamá, siempre estás hablando esas cosas. I don't want to hear it anymore. No quiero escucharlo más. Right? I don't want to hear it. Did your kid ever say that to you? Tu hijo te ha dicho eso alguna vez. I don't want to hear about the God. Oh, God, 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 God. Yo no escuchar, no quiero escuchar de Dios. But the parent is overjoyed. Pero el padre está gozoso. Father is overjoyed. El padre está gozoso. His kid's coming back. Su hijo está regresando. Boy, doesn't he look like garbage? <laughs> no se ve tan mal este niño. But he's happy because his son finally realizes the truth. Pero está feliz porque se, finalmente su hijo se dio cuenta de la verdad. Sometimes we children have to lose everything. Hay veces que nosotros tenemos que perderlo todo. Before we finally want to follow God's ways. Para antes finalmente querer seguir los caminos de Dios. Look at verse 22, please. Verso 22, por favor. But his father said to his slaves, quick, bring out a robe, the best one, and put 
it on him and put a ring on his finger and shoes on his feet. Amen? Amen. Remember this kid went a long distance away. Recuerda que este muchacho fue una distancia lejana. He walked back with no shoes. Él caminó sin zapatos. Has anybody ever walked around with no shoes? Ha caminado alguien sin zapatos. Imagine walking in the deserts. Imagínate caminar en el desierto. All those miles. Todas esas millas. With no shoes. Sin zapatos. Sometimes the road back to your father's house. Muchas veces la, el camino de vuelta a la casa del padre. Is a road that we gotta walk. Es un camino que debemos caminar. But it's a painful road. Pero es un camino de dolor. But there is a blessing at the end. Y hay una bendición al final. Imagine walking over rocks. Imagínate caminar sobre las rocas. And over mountains. Y sobre las montañas. And over uneven roads. Y sobre caminos desiguales. With no shoes on. Sin zapatos. Would that hurt your feet? Dolería esto tus pies. Would that cut up your feet? Cortará eso tus pies. But you see in this passage. Pero si ves en este pasaje. That that road back. Que el camino de vuelta. Is tough if you leave the father's house. Es fuerte si dejas la casa del padre. Now look at verse 25. Ahora veamos al verso 25. Now the older son was in the field. As he came close to the house, he heard music and dancing. Amen. Amen. The older son El hijo mayor does not know how good it is. No sabe qué tan bueno es. Sometimes when we're living in our house and everything's going okay, Hay veces que cuando estamos viviendo en casa y todo está bien, we don't understand what other people are going through. No entendemos lo que otra gente está pasando. And we don't realize how good we got it. Y nos, nos damos cuenta qué tan bueno lo que you know, obtuvimos. The, the older son, you know, obeys his father El hijo mayor obedece a su padre, but, he, but he's not happy pero no está feliz. I'll obey you and be proper father Yo te obedezco y soy propio, sin padre. because you're my father Porque tú eres mi padre. but I'm not happy pero no estoy feliz. I'm not happy at all to follow your ways no estoy feliz de seguir tus caminos. but the scripture says I must respect you pero la escritura dice, Debo respetarte. so I will Entonces, lo haré. Look at verse 29. Verso 29. Look, the son answered, I have worked for you all these years. I have never disobeyed your orders, but you have never even given me a young goat so that I could celebrate with my friends. Amen? Amen. You see that the older son is not happy. ¿Ves que el hijo mayor no está feliz? He's obedient, but not with a grateful heart. The Father in heaven is looking for obedience, but with a grateful heart. Look at verse 31. Son, you are always with me, said the Father, and everything I have is yours. Amen? Amen. The Father says, Son. El, el, Dios, el Padre le dice, Hijo. All you have to do is ask. Todo lo que tienes que hacer es pedir. The Father says. El Padre dice. All you gotta do is ask. Todo lo que debes hacer es pedir. The Father in heaven is saying to us today. El Padre en el cielo nos está diciendo a nosotros hoy. All you gotta do is ask. Todo lo que tienes que hacer es pedir. Everything I have is yours, Clarabel. Todo lo que tengo es tuyo. All you gotta do is ask. Todo lo que tienes que hacer es Be pedir. obedient. Ser obediente. Be thankful. Ser agradecida. All you gotta do is ask. Todo lo que tienes que hacer es pedir. Was Yeshua prophesying here? Estaba Yeshua profetizando. Was Yeshua prophesying here es, with this parable? Estaba Yeshua profetizando con esta parábola. Let's look at this parable spiritually now. Veamos esta para, parábola espiritualmente. Let's look at this spiritually. Veamos esta parábola espiritualmente. Who is the older child and who is the younger child? ¿Quién es el hijo mayor y quién es el hijo menor? Now this passage occurs in the, not in the Old Testament, the Tanakh. Este pasaje no pasa en el Antiguo Testamento. It occurs in the Brit Hadashah, the New Testament. Ocurre en el Nuevo Testamento. Now, who would be the younger child? ¿Quién sería el hijo mayor? The younger child I submit to you today. El hijo mayor te digo hoy. Is the Gentile Christian Church. Es la Iglesia Gentil Cristiana. The old and the older child. Y el hijo uh, mayor. Is the Jews. Son los judíos. Let me explain that. 
Déjame explicarte esto. The younger child el hijo menor wants all things. quiere todas las cosas. Have you ever listened to Christian radio? ¿Has escuchado a la radio cristiana? It's all about themselves. Se trata todo acerca de ellos. Lord, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. Señor, dame esto, dame esto, dame esto. You listen tonight to Sally Klein O'Connor. Tú vas a escuchar a hoy a Sally Klein O'Connor. You will hear the opposite of the Christian radio. Vas a escuchar lo opuesto de la radio cristiana. You listen to Ted Pierce's Hallelujah Adonai CD, and I definitely recommend getting it. Yo escuchas la el CD de Ted Pierce de uh, Hallelujah Adonai. Lo it, recomiendo. It is all about Scripture. It all is, is it all about the Father. Se trata todo de escritura de cerca del Padre. The younger child is all about me. El hijo menor se trata todo de mí. Grace, 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 grace. Gracia, gracia, gracia. Do whatever you want. It's all under grace. Haz lo que quieras porque estamos bajo gracia. And tell that to the people in Sodom and Gomorrah. Y diles, diles eso a la gente de Sodom y Gomorra. Tell that to the people in the flood. Dile a la gente eso del diluvio. Tell that to the six million Jews who went to the gas chambers. Diles eso a los seis millones de judíos que fueron a las cámaras de gas. And I'm going to prove this point in a minute, so don't get angry if you're getting a little aggravated with this at the moment. Y voy a probar esto, así que no te me enojes si estás. I'm going to prove minutes. it with two news stories in a few minutes. Lo voy a probar con dos noticias en unos minutos. I'm going to prove this that here in America. Voy a probar esto que aquí en América. We were founded on Judeo-Christian principles. Fuimos fundados en 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 judío-cristiano principios. On the Supreme Court building, at least for now. En el edificio de la Corte Suprema. There's a person holding the Ten Commandments. Hay una persona que sostiene los diez mandamientos. If you go to the Lincoln Memorial in Washington D.C. Si vas al memorial de Lincoln en Washington. You will see on the walls the words of Isaiah. Verás las palabras de Isaías. Our declaration of independence. Nuestra declaración de independencia. Says in the year of our Lord. Dice en el año de nuestro Señor. And it also says. Y también dice. We are endowed by our Creator. Somos de nuestro creador. I submit to you today. Les digo a ustedes hoy. That we, the church body. Que nosotros el cuerpo de la iglesia. Is the younger child. Es el hijo menor. And we're going to have to lose everything. Y vamos a tener que perder todo. So that we do come back. Así regresaremos. And let's prove that by the Gospel of James. Y probemos esto para el Evangelio de Santiago. James chapter 3, please. Yaakov. Santiago 3. No, not Santiago. <laughs> Santiago. Santiago. At least that's a, it's not like Pierre in French for Peter. <laughs> James, Yaakov chapter 3, please. Santiago 3. The younger child was selfish. El hijo menor era egoísta. Let's talk about selfishness now. Hablemos de egoísmo. James chapter 3, verse 13 through 17. Santiago capítulo 3, versos 13 al 17. Yaakov 3, everybody got it? Amen. Okay, you got it there, Marco? Go to uh, Peter, make a right. Santiago 3. <laughs> If you've gone to Revelation, make a left. <laughs> James 3, verse 13 through 17. Uh, 13 through 18, please. Santiago 13. 3. 3. Versículo 13 al 18. Sí. Who among you is wise and understanding? Let him demonstrate it by his good way of life, by actions done in humility that grows out of wisdom. But if you harbor in your hearts bitter jealousy and selfish ambition, don't boast and attack the truth with lies. This wisdom is not the kind that comes down from above. On the contrary, it is worldly, unspiritual, demonic. For where there is there are jealousy and selfish ambition, there are there will be disharmony in every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is, first of all, pure, then peaceful, kind, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And peacemakers who sow seed in peace raise a harvest of righteousness. Amen? Let's look at verse 13. Vamos al verso 13. Who among you is wise and understanding? Let him demonstrate it by his good way of life, by actions done in humility that grows out of wisdom. Amen? Amen. What is a good way of life? ¿Cuál es la buena manera de vida? Well, I see that guy driving a Porsche. Veo a ese hombre manejando un porche. And uh, 
I see him going to a fancy restaurant. Y lo veo que va, que va a un restaurant. Is that a good way of life? Es esa una buena manera de vida. I don't see him going to congregation. No le veo yendo a la congregación. I see him having an art show on Shabbat. Le veo que está teniendo un show de arte en Shabbat. Is that a good way of life? Es esa una buena manera de vida. To God, would that be a good way of life? Para Dios sería esto una buena manera de vida. What tells us what a good way of life is? ¿Qué nos dice que es una buena manera de vida? Didn't we read Deuteronomy 28? No hemos leído Deuteronomio 28. Follow these commandments and you will have a good way of life. Sigue estos mandamientos y tendrás una buena manera de vida. Let's compare our lives to Messiah. Comparemos nuestras vidas con Mesías. When did Messiah go to congregation or synagogue or temple? Cuando iba el Mesías a la congregación o a la sinagoga? Saturday or Sunday. El sábado o el domingo. Saturday, the seventh day. El sábado, el séptimo día. How many ham sandwiches did Messiah eat? ¿Cuántos sándwiches de jamón el Mesías comió? Did he have a Taylor ham and cheese on a hard roll with mayonnaise? Comió el jamón con queso y pan oh, en ham mayonesa. Con, ham con queso and mayonnaise. Oh, el jamón. On a bagel? No, never. Okay. So compare your life to Messiah. Compara tu vida con el Mesías. Look at verse 14. Verso 14. But if you harbor in your hearts bitter jealousy and selfish ambition, don't boast and attack the truth with lies. Amen. Amen. Selfish ambition was like the son. Uh, envidia es, uh, es como del hijo. The young son. Del hijo menor. Give me my inheritance. Dame mi herencia. I want to go live with the prostitutes. Yo quiero ir a vivir con las prostitutas. I hear they're fun to hang out with. He escuchado que son divertidas. Okay, so. What is his selfish ambition? ¿Cuál es una ambición egoísta? The, the younger son didn't think how selling the family property el hijo menor no pensó que como vendiendo la propiedad de la familia was going to affect the, the family. Les iba a afectar a la familia. You know, divorce rate is higher in Christians than it is in the secular world. Sabes que el divorcio en los cristianos es más alto que en el mundo secular. But Messiah says, I do not allow divorce. Pero Mesías dijo, no permito el divorcio. Only on one ground. Solamente en una, en una um, ocasión. Look at verse 17. Verso 17. But the wisdom from above is, first of all, pure, then peaceful, kind, open to reason, full of mercy, and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Amen? Amen. Well, did God write those, those commandments down? ¿Será que Dios escribió esos mandamientos? Why? He was just wanted to give us something to do? ¿Será que él quería solo darnos para hacer algo? The wisdom from above, from heaven, is pure. La sabiduría que desciende del cielo es pura. Would anything from God be bad? ¿Será que lo que viene de Dios es malo? Okay, so here... The dis disciple or Yeshua's brother, whoever Yaakov is here, este discípulo o el hermano de Yeshua, quien sea, is saying in the New Testament está diciendo aquí en el Nuevo Testamento that the wisdom from heaven que la sabiduría del cielo is pure. Es pura. Now Yaakov is not reading the letters to the Corinthians. Yaakov no está leyendo las cartas a los Corintios. The letters to the Romans. O las cartas a Romanos. Colossians. A los Colosenses. Ephesians. A los Efesios. He, what is Yaakov reading? ¿Qué está leyendo Yaakov? He's reading the Tanakh, the es, Old Testament. Está leyendo el Antiguo Testamento. Turn to Psalm 119. Vamos al Salmo 119. We're going to read it all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Psalm 119. Salmo 119. We're going to do hey verse 33 through 40. Vamos a hacer hey. Hey. Del verso 33 al 40. Psalm 119 verse 33 through 40. Salmo 119 33 al 40. This is what Yaakov would have been quoting from. Esto es lo que Yaakov estaría citando. Psalm 119 verse 33 through 40. Salmo 119 del 33 al 40. Teach me, Adonai, the way of your laws. Keeping them will be its own reward for me. Give me understanding, then I will keep your Torah. I will observe it with all my hearts. Give me on the path of your mitzvot, for I take pleasure. Guide me on the path of your mitzvot, for I take pleasure in it. Bend my heart toward your instructions and not toward selfish gain. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. With, with your ways, give me life. Fulfill your promise, which you made to your servant, which you made to those who fear you. Avert the disgrace which I dread, for your rulings are good. See how I long for your precepts in your righteous. Give me, your righteousness gives me life. Amen? Let's break this down. 
dividamos esto. Look at verse 33 again, please. Veamos al verso 33. Teach me, Adonai, the way of your laws. Keeping them will be its own reward for me. Amen? Amen. There's a reward that we see in Deuteronomy 28, right? Hay un premio que hay en Deuteronomio 28. What is that reward? ¿Cuál es ese premio? Reward is blessings if you do God's will. Ese premio son las bendiciones si haces de la voluntad de Dios. And Messiah Yeshua also quotes this. Y Yeshua también cita esto. In Matthew 6:1 he talks about it. En Mateo 6:1 lo habla. He says, "Do your righteousness the, the zedaka." Dice, haz tú lo que es justo, el zedaka. But do it in secret, he says. Pero hazlo en secreto. And that reference is Matthew 6:1. Esa referencia es Mateo 6.1. He's quoting Psalm 119, verse 33. Él está señalando el Salmo 119, verso 33. Now let's look at Psalm 119, verse 34. Veamos ahora el Salmo 119, verso 34. Give me understanding, then I will keep your Torah. I will observe it with all my heart. Amen? Amen. How do we do something with all our hearts? ¿Cómo hacemos esto con nuestros corazones? The younger son thought it would be better to go out into the world, right? El hijo pensó que era mejor ir al mundo. But he lost everything. Pero perdió todo. With all our heart, we got to follow God. Con nuestro corazón tenemos que seguir a Dios. And Yeshua quotes this in Matthew 22, verse 37. Y Yeshua cita esto en Mateo 22, verse 37. Yeshua quotes it. Cita. They asked him, you should do with all your hearts. Él lo dice, debes hacerlo con todo tu corazón. And that's being quoted from 119, Psalm 119, verse 34. Y esto se viene de Salmo 119, verso 34. Now, Psalm 119, verse 35, let's take a look at that. Salmo 119, verso 35. Guide me on the path of your mitzvot commandments, for I take pleasure in it. Amen. So the Lord, it's saying here, guide me on this path of righteousness. Está diciendo, en este camino de justicia. Which is your commandments. ¿Cuál es tu mandamiento? Does not Yeshua say in Matthew 7, no dice Yeshua en Mateo 7, verse 14, verso 14, that the narrow gate leads to life. Que el camino angosto lleva la vida. Well, I guess that would be a narrow path, right? Quizá es el camino angosto. But he's quoting here from Psalm 119. Pero aquí lo está llamando del Salmo 119. Look at verse 36 now. Veamos al verso 36. Bend my heart towards your instruction and not towards selfish gain. Amen? Amen. Yeshua talks about not being selfish and giving to the poor. Yeshua habla de no ser egoísta y dar al pobre. Now, let's look at this next part. Ahora veamos esta próxima parte. And about the news story was what's going on in America. Y acerca de esta nueva historia que está pasando en América. Part 5, what happens next? Parte 5, ¿qué pasa después? Turn to Hebrews chapter 12, please. Vámonos a Hebreos 12. Hebrews chapter 12, please. Hebreos capítulo 12. Hebrews chapter 12, please. Hebreos capítulo 12. Look at verse 6 through 8. Vamos en los versos 6 al 8. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6 through 8. Hebrews 12, verse 6 through 8. Hebreos 12, del 6 al 8. For Adonai disciplines those he loves and whips every one he accepts as a son. Regard your endurance as discipline. God is dealing with you as sons. For what son God undisciplined... Let me read that again. For Adonai disciplines those he, he loves and whips everyone he accepts as a son. Regard your endurance as discipline. God is dealing with you as sons. For what son goes undisciplined by his father? All legitimate sons undergo discipline. So if you don't, you're a mamzer and not a son. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 7. Vamos al verso siete. Regard your endurance as discipline. God is dealing with you as sons. For what son goes undisciplined by his father. Amen? Amen? Are we being disciplined by God? Estamos siendo disciplinados por Dios. We've been getting a lot of hurricanes. Hemos estado teniendo muchos huracanes. Destroying a lot of land. Destruyendo muchas tierras. We've been getting a lot of droughts. Hemos estado teniendo mucha sequía. I'm going to read you a news story. Te voy a leer un reportaje. See, when we lose our power in God, 
cuando perdemos el poder de Dios. Then something that would normally be called evil algo que normalmente lo llamaríamos malo is now called okay or good. Ahora se llama bueno. Here's a news story from this week. Este es un reportaje de esta semana. This happened in America. Esto pasa aquí en América. In the city of Phoenix, Arizona. En la ciudad de Phoenix, Arizona. The headline reads this. La, el titular dice así. Islamic child abuse gets you probation in Arizona. El, el, uh, Islamic child abuse. El, uh, abuso de un niño islámico. Gets you probation in Arizona. Te da aprobación en Arizona. A superior court judge in Arizona. Una corte superior en Arizona. Gave probation to this father. Le dio aprobación a este padre. Who is a Muslim. Que es musulmán. He admitted el admitió to kidnapping, el, el secuestrar, beating, golpear, and trying to kill his daughter. E y tratar de matar a su hija. I want to say that again. Quiero decirlo de nuevo. In Phoenix, Arizona, in Phoenix, Arizona, this Islamic man este hombre islámico, admitted in open courts admitió en la corte, to kidnapping, de, que secuestró, beating golpeó, and trying to kill his 19 year old daughter e intentó matar a su hija de 19 because años. she did not want to get married to a 38 year old man Porque ella no se quiso casar con un hombre de 38 años. he tied her to a bed la ató en una cama, burned her la quemó, with hot spoons con cucharas calientes, and then tried to cut her neck y trató de cortarle la, la, el cuello. This happened in Arizona this week, people. Esto pasó en Arizona esta semana. And he got probation. Y le dieron probación. Now, here in New Jersey, aquí en New Jersey, we've been following this case of the Jacksons. Estamos siguiendo este caso de los Jacksons. The Jacksons have five children. Los Jacksons tenía, tienen cinco hijos. I believe Three of them are adopted Yo creo que tres de ellos son adoptados from other family members. De otro miembro de familia. Three of the children have huge medical problems. Tres de ellos tienen unos problemas médicos grandes. One time in 2010, una vez en el 2010, they brought one of the children who was sick llevaron a uno de los niños que estaba enfermo to the hospital. al hospital. The child had a fever and they were dehydrated. El niño estaba con fiebre y estaba deshidratado. When the mother went to the hospital with the daughter, cuando la mamá fue al hospital con la hija, she brought the medical records. Él les trajo los reportes médicos. Because the child had other problems. Porque el hijo tenía otros uh, otros problemas médicos. These children were from a, a family member in the Midwest. Estos niños fueron de un miembro de familia en el Medio Oeste. These children have been taken away from the Jacksons, all five. Estos niños fueron quitados de estos uh, de esta familia Jackson, los Because cinco. the Jacksons preach Christianity. Porque los Jackson son cristianos. The Jacksons homeschool their children. So, ellos uh, dan escuela en casa a sus hijos. Even though the Jacksons had the X-ray. Incluso que los ellos los Jacksons tenían los rayos X. See, when they brought the child to the hospital. Cuando llevaron a la niña al hospital. The child had an old fracture in the arm. Tenía una fractura en el brazo. They brought the X-ray. Trajeron los rayos de. Saying, you know, you know, we're foster parents. Diciendo somos padres que. We're family members. Que cuidamos de otros padres. But they didn't want to hear nothing. Y ellos no quisieron escuchar nada. Are we the younger son? Somos nosotros el hijo menor. The Muslim can torture. El hijo, uh, el musulmán puede tor torturar, kidnap, secuestrar, beat their child, golpear a su hijo. In Phoenix, Arizona, in Phoenix, Arizona, and here in New Jersey, we can't even bring our children to the hospital. Y aquí en New Jersey no podemos ni llevar a nuestros hijos al hospital. God says in Hebrews 12, Dios dice aquí en Hebreos 12, that He will chastise us. Que él nos castigará. If we don't follow his ways. Si no seguimos sus caminos. Final part, part six. Parte final. Turn to First John chapter two. Primera de Juan dos. First John chapter two. Primera de Juan dos. Verse one through six. Del uno al seis. First John chapter two, verse one through six. Primera de Juan capítulo dos del uno al seis. The disciple of Yeshua, Talmud of Yeshua, is writing this. Un Talmudín de Yeshua está escribiendo esto. First John chapter two, verse one through six. Primera de Juan, capítulo 2, el 1 al 6. My children, I am writing you these 
things so that you won't sin. But if anyone does sin, we have Yeshua the Messiah, the Zadik, who pleads our case with the Father. Also, he is a kapara for our sins, and not only for our, ours, but also for those of the whole world. The way we can be sure we know him is if we are obeying his commands. <gasps> Anyone who says, I know him, but isn't obeying his commands is a liar. The truth is not in him. But if someone keeps doing what he says, then truly love for God has been brought to its goal in him. This is how we are sure that we are united with him. A person who claims to be continuing in union with him ought to conduct his life the way he did. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 3. The way we can be sure we know him is that we are obeying his commands. Amen? Amen. That's in the New Testament? Esto es en el Nuevo Testamento. It's in the New Testament. Es en el Nuevo Testamento. The only way we can be sure is if we follow his commandments. La única manera que podemos estar seguros si seguimos sus mandamientos. Oh my goodness. But I don't like to do those. Pero no me gusta hacer eso. I like shrimp cocktail. Me gusta el camarón. Shrimp cocktail with a little hot sauce. Cocktail de camarones con un poquito de picante. Clams on the half shell. Uh, conchas en la mitad del caparazón. Lobster. Langosta. Dipping it in butter. Con mm. mantequilla. Mm. Or that new uh, thing at McDonald's. What's that uh, thing? The the onion bacon something. The, the CBO. What's the the cheddar, producto? bacon, and onion burger. Una hamburguesa de, de, de tocino y en McDonald's. Okay. So here it is. Who's writing this letter? ¿Quién está escribiendo esta carta? Yochanan, John. Juan. One of the disciples, the Talmud. Uno de los discípulos, un Talmud. Who walked with Yeshua for three and a half years. Que caminó con Yeshua por tres años y medio. You think he would know what Messiah would want from us? ¿Crees que él sabría lo que el Mesías quería de nosotros? Look at 1 John chapter 2 verse 4. Vamos a primera de Juan. Anyone who says I know him but isn't obeying his commands is a liar. The truth is not in him. Woo, John. I thought we were all about love here, boy. Yo pensé que éramos todos acerca del amor. John, dude, you're Juan, not going to win people the Messiah by saying that. Tú no vas a ganar a la gente diciendo esto. I don't know. No sé. The scripture is pretty clear here. La escritura es muy clara aquí. Now, if you want to believe that these letters are scripture, si quieres creer que estas cartas son de escritura, well, John walked with Yeshua for a long time. Juan caminó con Yeshua por mucho tiempo. But if you're not following the commands, you're a, and you say you love him, you're a liar. Pero si estás siguiendo sus mandamientos y no lo amas, no, si no lo, si dices que lo amas y no estás siguiendo sus mandamientos, estás mintiendo. I love you, Jesus. Te amo, Jesús. But I only do what Paul tells me to do. Pero solo hago lo que Pablo me dice que haga. Didn't Yeshua say love with all your hearts? No dijo Yeshua ama con todo tu corazón. Look at verse 6. Vamos al verso 6. A person who claims to be continuing in union with him ought to conduct his life the way he did. Amen. Amen. That's what the whole message is all about, people. De esto se trata el mensaje. John wrote it. Juan lo escribió. Don't get mad at me. No se enojen conmigo. If I'm just bringing you truth, si les estoy trayendo la verdad, you're not going to anger me. No me vas a molestar a mí. I'm just going to think you're a knucklehead. Yo voy a pensar que eres una cabeza de papa. But you're going to anger Father in heaven. Pero vas a enojar al Padre en el cielo. Yeshua came to give an example. People. Yeshua vino para dar un ejemplo. And John is saying, conduct your life like him. Y Juan está diciendo, conduce tu vida como él. So Yeshua sits down the Passover. Yeshua, si Yeshua se sentó en la Pascua. And he doesn't put up a Christmas tree. Y no pone su árbol de Navidad. Conduct your life like him. Conduce tu vida como él. Then you can be sure that you are his. Así puedes estar seguro que tú le perteneces. Now let's read verse 14 through 17. Leamos los versos 14 al 17. You children, I have written you because you have known the Father. You fathers, I have written you because you have known him who has existed from the beginning. You young people, I have written you because you are strong. The word of God remains in you and you have overcome the evil one. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If someone loves the world, then love for the Father is not in him because all the things of the world, the desires of the old nature, the desires of the eyes, 
pretensions of life are not from the Father, but from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does God's will remains forever. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 17. Vamos al verso 17. And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does God's will remains forever. Amen. Amen. What's God's will? ¿Cuál es la voluntad de Dios? Follow his commandments. Seguir sus mandamientos. Did not Yeshua say in John 14, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments? No dijo, Dios, no dijo Yeshua en Juan 14, si me amas, sigues mis mandamientos. Did it, Yeshua not say, follow me with all your hearts? No dijo Yeshua, sígueme con tu, todo tu corazón. Didn't Yeshua not say, I and the Father are one? No dijo Yeshua, que yo y el Padre somos uno. Look at verse 15. Vamos al verso 15. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If someone loves the world, then love for the Father is not in him. Amen? Amen. Yeshua said nobody gets to the Father except through him, people. Yeshua dijo, Nadie va al Padre sino por mí, por él. You have to walk like Messiah. We need to go back. Tienes que caminar como Mesías. Tenemos que regresar. Aren't there enough signs and wonders going around, people? No hay demasiados signos y prodigios ya. I mean, Israel is going to battle right now. Israel está entrando en batalla. Do you think that if a nuclear bomb hits Israel, ¿Crees que si una bomba nuclear golpea a Israel, Father is just going to allow that to happen there? El padre va a permitir que pase solo allí. God is doing something. Dios está haciendo algo. Final scripture. Turn to Isaiah 42. Isaías 42, última escritura. Isaiah 42. Isaías 42. Isaiah 42, verse 1 through 7, final scripture. Isaías 42, verse 1 al 10. Hopefully people have learned something today. Espero que hayan aprendido algo hoy. And don't walk out on the word of God. Y no se alejen de la palabra de Dios. It's not me you can be happy or mad with, it's God. No puedes alejarte, de, no, no es a mí a quien vas a ser feliz. I think the Lord has laid out a good case today. Yo creo que el Señor ha puesto un buen caso hoy. For the reasons we need to follow him. Porque las razones que debemos seguirlo. What is repentance? ¿Qué es arrepentimiento? What is repentance? ¿Qué es arrepentimiento? Isaiah, Yeshiyahu 42, verse 1 through 7. Isaías 42, el 1 al 10. Here's Así my es. servant whom I support, my chosen one, in whom I take pleasure. I put my spirit on him. He will bring justice to the Goyim. He will not cry or shout. No one will hear his voice in the streets. He will not snap off a broken reed or snuff out a smoldering wick. He will bring forth justice according to truth. He will not weaken or be crushed until he has established justice on the earth and the coastlands wait for his Torah. Thus says God, Adonai, who created the heavens and spread them out, who stretched out the earth and all that grows from it, who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk on it. I, Adonai, called you righteously. I took hold of you by the hand. I shaped you and made you a covenant for the people to be a light for the goyim so that you can open blind eyes, free the prisoners from confinement, those living in darkness from the dungeon. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 6, please. Veamos al verso seis. I, Adonai, called you righteously. I took hold of you by the hand. I shaped you and made you a covenant for the people of the to be a light for the Goyim. Amen? Amen? Amen. That is my job. Ese es mi trabajo. To teach the Goyim. Enseñar al Goyim. To call them to repentance. Para llamarlos a arrepentimiento. To show the Gentiles that Torah is still good. Para mostrarles a los gentiles que la Torah sigue siendo buena. I know buena. a lot of people say that it's bad. Mucha gente dice que es mala. Well, then God has changed. Pero Dios, entonces, cambiaría. And if Torah is bad, then God has changed, and I don't want to follow him. Somebody had to tell the people of Nineveh. Alguien tiene que decirle a la gente de Nineveh. Those goyim. A esos goyim. Repent. Arrepiéntanse. Because judgment is coming. Porque el juicio se acerca. I'm telling you, people. Te estoy diciendo. Judgment's on its way. El juicio se acerca. And if you can't see that, well... I'm sorry. Y si no puedes ver esto, lo lamento. Rockets are falling in Jerusalem. Los misiles cayeron en Jerusalén. The world is calling Israel bad for just existing. 
el, el mundo llama a Israel solo malo por existir Jews are being persecuted all around the globe los judíos están siendo perseguidos alrededor del mundo the European Union is going to be putting Zeus on their money la, la nación europea pondrá a Zeus en su dinero America can't even have marriage to be sacred anymore America ya el matrimonio no es sagrado en América Was not that storm big enough to get your attention? No fue esta tormenta suficientemente grande para llamarte la atención. Was not this election big enough to get your attention? No fue esta elección suficientemente grande para llamarte la atención. Was not the drought big enough to get our attention? No fue la la sequía tan grande para llamarte la atención. Life is getting tougher, people. La vida se está haciendo más más difícil. But it doesn't have to be. Pero no tiene que serlo. Part six. Parte seis. We don't get consumed by lies. No nos consumamos por mentiras. John said, follow Messiah. Juan dijo, sigue al Mesías. Follow his example. Sigue su ejemplo. You can't go wrong with doing that. No puedes estar mal cuando haces esto. In part five, we learned about what comes next if we don't follow God. En parte cinco, aprendimos qué viene después si no seguimos a Dios. In part four, we learned about the younger son. En la parte cuatro, aprendimos acerca del hijo más, men el del hijo menor. The Romanized church today. De la iglesia romanizada hoy. Part three. Parte tres. God wants us to repent. Dios quiere que nos arrepintamos. He'll take pleasure in that. Él tomará placer en esto. In part two, y parte dos, God says, if you listen closely, I'll bless you. Dios dice, si, si escuchas atentamente, yo te bendeciré. And we started this message y comenzamos este mensaje with a call of repentance. con el llamado de arrepentimiento. We started this message comenzamos este mensaje with the great commission. con la gran comisión. Go and tell people about Yeshua and his commandments. Time is short. El tiempo se acorta. Have God looking down at us, please. Ten a Dios mirando sobre nosotros. Saying, Gabriel, Diciéndole a Gabriel Michael, 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 angels, come here. Ángeles, vengan. Look, Mire. America has repented. America se ha repentido. Look, Israel is repenting. Mira que Israel se arrepintió. Look, South America is repenting. Mira, Sudamérica se arrepintió. Look, the Guatemalans are repenting. Mira, los guatemaltecos se arrepintieron. Even the English? E incluso los ingleses. You sure? Seguro. Europe? Europa. China? La China. Africa? Africa. Let us be the light to bring God's light to the world. Let repentance start here today. Amen. 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 And we just bow our heart for a moment. Thank you, Adonai, for your word. Thank you, Adonai, for your hand in our lives. We ask your hand on this message, Lord. Te pedimos tu mano en este mensaje. To touch people's lives. Que toque las vidas de las personas so that they will know your truth Así ellos tu verdad. and understand your truth. Y entenderán tu verdad. We ask your hand on those that heard today Pedimos tus mano en, sobre los que fueron lastimados hoy. to touch people's lives. Por los que escucharon para tomar, uh, tocar la vida de otras personas. If you're out there si estás afuera, and you've never given your heart to Messiah. Y nunca has dado tu corazón al Mesías. Well, Yeshua is the foretold Messiah. Yeshua es el Mesías del que se habló. He gave his life Él dio su vida like the goats on Yom Kippur. Como los machos cabríos en Yom Kippur. Who took away the sins of the world. Que se llevaron los pecados del mundo. Of all Israel. De todo Israel. Yeshua gave his life for that same purpose. Yeshua dio su vida por el mismo propósito. So that you could have life. Así tener vida. If you're out there, si estás afuera, and you've never truly given your life to the Lord, y no has dado tu vida al Señor I'm going to lead in a simple prayer Voy a guiar en oración, so that you could return to Father's house. Así puedes regresar a la casa del Padre. I'm going to lead in a prayer of repentance Voy a guiar en una oración de arrepentimiento, so that you may be in heaven for eternity. Así vayas a tener al cielo por eternidad. Say Yeshua. I realized today Me he dado cuenta hoy that your word is true. Que tu palabra es verdad. I realized today Me he dado cuenta hoy that you are a God of compassion. Que tú eres un Dios de compasión. I realized today 
me he dado cuenta hoy that I made a lot of mistakes like that young son. Que cometí muchos errores como este hijo menor. But I want to come back. Pero quiero regresar. I want to ask for your forgiveness. Quiero pedir tu perdón. I ask you, Lord. Te pido, Señor. Because I have sinned against you. Porque he pecado en contra tuya. I come before you. Vengo ante ti. And I ask for your forgiveness. Y te pido perdón. To wash me. Para que me laves. Clean me. Me limpies. Make me something new. Me hagas algo nuevo. So I can live my life in eternity with you. Así puedo vivir mi vida en eternidad contigo. If you've done that for the very first time. Si has hecho esto por la primera vez. Then you are born again. Entonces has nacido de nuevo. But Yeshua said. Pero Yeshua dijo. That if you don't profess him before man. Que si me pro, no me profesas en frente de los hombres. He will not profess you before his father in heaven. No te profesaré en delante de su padre en el cielo. If you've done that for the very first time. Si has hecho esto por la primera vez. And you've meant it in your heart. Y lo has dicho de corazón. Slip up your hand so we can pray with you. Levanta tu mano y oraremos contigo. If you're hearing us on radio or television or internet, just si, let us know. Si estás escuchando en radio, televisión o internet, déjanos saber. So we can pray with you. Así oraremos contigo. In your name is Yeshua. In tu nombre Yeshua. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Why don't we rise for your ironic benediction, please? Levantémonos para la bendición arónica. And we'll pray over the food and have some more egg. Yeah, but I could call Jehovah, Varish Mareha, Yeah, Jehovah. Panavale kabikune ka Isa Yehova Panavale kabiasem laka Shalom May Yehova bless you and keep you. May Yehova make his face shine on you and show you his favor. May Yehova lift up his face toward you and give you peace. Yehova ti bendiga y te guarde. Yehova haga resplandecer su rostro sobre ti y tenga ti misericordia. Yehova hace ti su rostro y ponga en ti paz. In the name of Messiah Yeshua, the Lord HaOlam, the light of the world. Amen and amen. amen. And then we'll just lift up the bread so we can pray over the food so we can have some lunch.